Pink Poodle Crabs, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy. Hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. How's everybody doing today? Sorry, I had to wrestle pigs out of my room. <laughs> the girl had, because when I'm like bringing stuff in for the auction, I'm bringing stuff in from the living room and I have to go down the hallway and at the end of the hallway is my craft room and I keep a, a gate in front of the door so that Tigger stays in by me and the girls stay out in the living room. Well. While I'm moving the stuff back and forth for the auction, I leave the I move the gate, and I basically most of the time they still they'll stay out of the way because they see me moving real fast and they're like I ain't getting in the middle of that. Well, today they decided to be little pains in the asses and run into my craft room and then start booking around, you know, circling around, running around, playing, and I'm trying to, and then when I was trying to like, finally trying to get them out of here, it was like wrestling pigs because. I, you know, went one way and they went the other way and, you know. What message, T, I don't know what message you're talking about. I haven't checked my messages in the last couple hours. And I don't know what you're talking about. Sorry, I didn't get any messages. So yeah, they were they were really getting on my nerves because <laughs> they wouldn't they wouldn't get out and they thought it, they thought it was a bit it was all fun and games to them. They wanted to play and I'm trying to <laughs> trying to move stuff and I'm like, well, you get out of here, get out, get out, and they're just like dodging me and running around. And there was two of them, so of course you know they thought they can get away with it. Little smart asses. And finally, I got him out of here. So, how's everybody doing today? Hopefully well. I forgot. I always forget to cut my paper. I didn't even realize how late it was when I was doing that because I was kind of letting them run around a little bit, teasing them at first, you know, because I didn't think it was that late. And then when I realized it, I was like, okay, you guys really need to get out of here. But by then, it was all over. I had started something and, you know, they, they weren't going to let it go at that point. thought I was in play mode. warmed up a bit today. Well, I mean, 55 degrees out, so. All right, you're just being dumb now. So it wasn't as cold today as it was the last two days or three days. When I went to Walmart, I found these cute pajamas with little moons and clouds on them and stars. And they were 10 bucks for the pajamas for the top and the bottom. So I was like, okay, I'm a sucker for pajamas because I love pajamas. The kittens are going to the shelter. What do you mean they're going to the shelter? Why are they going to the shelter?
All right, let me say hi to everybody. Hi, Sandy and Jeannie and Tamara, Tammy and Christy and Paula and Shazzy and Shelby and T and Angela, hello, and Christine and Amanda and Miss Kennedy. And Harley Quinn, hello. And Tina and Joy. And Penny. I don't know where Janie is. I messaged her earlier. <laughs> we went over the time, and I explained to her that it was her that had the time difference, not me. Because my time my automatically clocks back, so it's still the same time for me no matter what. But for her, because she doesn't do the whole daylight savings time where she lives, that it would be different. Oh, okay, never mind. She messaged me and said her internet is down. All right, well, no big deal. I can run the timer while she's not, while she's there. I mean, while she's, yeah, while she's not able to be here right now. She said that it should be fixed in about an hour from now, so. I'll run the timer in the chat. So basically, whatever you see me type in the chat, that'll be, I'll say go and stop um, until she gets here. So I'll keep my keyboard close by. Yeah, she messaged me. I, I was checking my messenger. She texted me. I didn't see the text right away because I wasn't, I was checking, I was checking my messenger, um, assuming that, because that's where I had messaged her, but I didn't realize her internet was out, but it's no big deal. It'll be fine. It causes heart attacks? Really? Why, why do you say that? I think I heard that, though. I think I heard something weird about, like, not just heart attacks, but, like, like something about people dying or something. But I don't know. That's it. I, I didn't really understand the reasoning, or maybe I don't remember. But it, I, did, I do remember hearing something about that somewhere. Um, I don't think they said heart attack, though. I think they just were saying it causes, like, some sort of weird like death or something. I, I don't know. Huh. It's really strange though. So those who are going to be in the class tomorrow, are you guys ready for class? Who will be working along with me in the class tomorrow? Dang it. Some areas where I didn't cut it very straight. But my, that blade on that cutter is like dead. I have, to, I have to put another blade in there. Since I don't use it as much as I used to, I just kind of... You're going to do it along with us, Shazzy? Awesome. Are you doing Halloween themed or fall themed? Or some other theme? It doesn't matter the theme as long, you know, it's, you can do it with anything really.
The classes for the Patreon is for my Patreon members, um, and it's at 5.30 tomorrow. You're looking at a, a house? What do you mean? To buy or rent or what? Well, it's not, the class isn't until 5.30, uh, was it 5.30? So if you're looking at something, a house in the morning, you should be able to make it no problem. Unless it's a really big house. <laughs> <laughs> and, if, and you're going to be there a really long time. I'm asking Janie if she can, why doesn't she just get on her phone? Her phone, you know, she has unlimited data, so. <laughs> Oh, really? You're going to buy it? That's awesome. It's 100 years old. Wow. Is it in good shape? Yeah, be very careful. Don't don't make the same mistake. I I had uh, two different two different friends make this mistake. They didn't make a lot of money. I, I don't know what your income is. I'm just saying, if you don't make a lot of money, don't buy an old house. Because old houses, especially if it's not been renovated or whatever, have a tendency to need a lot of work, and they cost a lot more money to upkeep than a newer house. And I had two friends that made the mistake of buying older houses because they got a good deal on it, of course, and because they didn't have a massive income. And once they got in the house, within six months, they had all these problems they had to start doing, um, taking care of, and they didn't have the money for it. One of them, they ended up losing the house because it had so much stuff wrong with it over and over again, over like the year and a half that they lived there that they just couldn't do it and they didn't have the income to do it. And then the other pe people, they um, had no heat and they had to use space heaters all the time and their house burnt down. So <laughs> just, just, just keep in mind that buying old houses, it may appear like it'll be a great idea, but in the long run, if you don't if you don't have enough money to upkeep it, it's not a good idea to get yourself into that. Yeah, I would make sure you have somebody inspect the house. That's I mean, it's only going to cost like 125 to 150 bucks. Um and have have somebody inspect it because you need to know what you're walking into because it can appear like it's fine. You know what I mean? Like it can look like it's fine from the outside even when you walk in, but you don't know what the pipes are looking like. You don't know what the electrical's looking like. 
You know what I mean? You don't know if the windows are going to be all, you know. So that's, it's important that, especially in an older house, that you have somebody inspect it before you buy anything so that you know what is going on. Hi, Tiffany and Mary Jane. Hi, Paula and Jill. Hi, Bren and Crystal. Yeah, that's a good one, too. Talk to the neighbors. See if the if they know anything about what the owners had going on with the house. But, you know, yeah, just do your, do your due diligence. It's very important because I know how it looks. I know how it I know how it can be when you find something that's a good deal and you just want to block out of your mind anything else because you really want to own a home but renting is much cheaper than owning a home believe it or not people say things like oh well it's better to own a home not when it's an older home and not in a lot of cases no because at least when you're renting if something goes wrong you can call the landlord when you own it it's on you you know and the repairs cost a lot of money. I mean, I can't tell you how many things have gone wrong in this house. And it was made, it was built in 1980. So in the scheme of things in houses, it's not that old. It was, you know, from 1980. That's not a, that's not a, you know, typically, you know, that's not a, like a very old house. Like an old house would be 60s, 50s, 40s. Old, a really old house is <laughs> something that was 100 years ago. But... It's just, houses can be, you know, money pits, big time, very, very easily. Just be real careful about that. But, you know, you never know. You could, you, you might luck out and it might only need some cosmetic stuff and, you know, you'll be good to go. Oh, that's, that's that other house that I was telling you about that my friend bought, the one that burnt down. It was in the historic district, so it was deemed historic. So there was a lot of things they couldn't do, which was a lot of the problem, too, is there was so much that they couldn't do and because it had to be a certain way because of the fact that it was, a, like, over, it was, like, a, over 100 years old. And, yeah, it's, um, yeah, that's another thing. That's right. I forgot about that. Hi, Laura. Yeah, rent, I mean, people always say, well, you know, renting, you're putting, you're sinking your money into something you're not owning. Yes, that's very true. At the same time, though, what's better? To sink your money into something you'll never own, but never, also never have to worry about the repairs on, or B, put your money into a house that all you do is sink money into. Do you know what I mean? It's kind of a thing. It's, you know what I mean? It's, it's, it's definitely, it's got its pros and cons. And honestly, I, I, I used to always think that buying a house was the best thing anybody could do. And now I don't think, think that way because I think that buying a house is a great thing to do if you have a really good income where you can take care of something if it goes wrong um, and you know and have good ins you know homeowners insurance have have not just homeowners insurance but a I have a home warranty which you anybody can get and that saves my ass a lot but you know I think that renting is a good option for somebody who doesn't have a lot of disposable income and who is you know have, has a tendency to live very, very tight budget, you're probably better off renting. Um, just because it, you never know. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's so, you could be stuck without heat for, an, you know, an entire year because something goes wrong and you can't afford to fix it or whatever. As it could cost, you know, thousands of dollars to fix and you're just like, oh crap. Whereas if it, if it was a rental house, all you have to do is call your landlord and you might be out, out of, you might not have hot, hot, you know, heat for a day or two. Whereas if you own a house, <laughs> you could be without it for a long time. I 
Oh, yeah. If it's gone through a couple buyers, then, yeah, then then be very, very aware of what's going on and definitely talk to the neighbors. Because usually the neighbors know what's going on because, obviously, it was their neighbors, so they were friends and, you know, likely, and they talked and whatever. So, yeah, definitely talk to the neighbors. Maybe it's haunted. I don't know. But talk to some people so you don't end up in a pit. Oh, I'm sorry, Chanel. I apologize, girl. It's hard to keep up with the chat. What what, what are you looking for, hon? Oh, uh, the rules are the link. I don't know if the link showed up. Let me get the rule list of rules for you so that you can, um, so that you'll be able to do what needs to be done to bid. Basically, you just need to read the rules and then send me an email with um, your name, your full name and address. Uh, let me find... Let me get that, please. Hold on a second. I just got to shorten that link or else YouTube won't let me. Um, dang it. Come on. Yeah, it's hard. You know, it, it, if you're in the chat, sometimes it's hard for me to keep up and read everybody's chat and stuff. So just... Be patient, and sometimes, especially if you're asking a question, put it in all caps. Um, this way, I'm more likely to see it. All right, I'm posting the rules right now. And that's a link to the rules. Um, just check that link out. And yes, I do remember the movie, The Money Pit. <laughs> Alright, before I get going, I gotta take Tigger out. He's want Now all of a sudden, he's wanting to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Give me two seconds. Let me let him pee. I'll be right back. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. <clears throat> so does anybody have any questions on the rules and how it works? The rules, I'll just go over a few of them. 
the auction is um, I'll, I'll type go in the chat and when you see me type the word go the only thing that should be happening is bidding and we start the bid off at a dollar on most everything and the bid increments are in one dollar increments so it's not like you don't put a dollar fifty dollar seventy five it's one dollar two dollar three dollar five dollars whatever um, and after two minutes of bidding I'll say stop I'll also give a 30 second warning after a minute and 30 seconds I'll say 30 seconds and then when I say stop in the chat uh, that means stop bidding and I'll take the highest bid that comes in before the stop sometimes it happens where internet because it's the internet and there's lags and people live in different areas if there's a lot of people bidding towards the end it could look on your screen like you won like if you were bidding it can look like you got it in before the stop but on my screen it might show that somebody else did so I have to go by what's on my screen because there has to be one screen that is the final call so I have to make that my screen obviously and I can show everybody my screen so I can show everybody the chat and everything so there's that um, anything you buy today you pay for today so anything you buy keep track of it have a little piece of paper and just write down the price at the end before you leave the auction before you leave uh, you know let's say you buy a couple things you decide you're leaving pay through PayPal first for what you purchase um, make sure I have the email that you're supposed to send um, again here's the rules uh, link to the rules um, in the chat uh, make sure that you follow those rules as far as where to send the email and all that stuff my PayPal for making payment is above in this ticker here it's pink poodle crafts at gmail.com and that's where you'll make the payment using friends and family it, there's a little checkbox um, when you go to pay through PayPal um, there's a checkbox uh, that says to send it that you're sending it that you're whatever you know what I mean that you're send, not it's not like don't do it as a merchant payment um, uh, what else oh within uh, about a week to 10 days you'll get your shipping total because it takes me that long to get everything packed up and then you'll get your shipping total and your shipping total will be separate and that'll come into your uh, whatever your whatever the email is you sent me um, I'll send you the shipping total there people that are in my patreon today you have uh, obviously you have a discount if you are one of my patreon members um, let me get get the thing for the the rundown for the rules for the patreon Didn't it go through? That's weird. Huh. I'm very confused. I'm very confused. Why isn't it showing up my what I posted? Oh god. Did they change something again for the crying out loud? <sighs> what is going on? Cuz that's where the rules are, the discount things are. What in the Hold on, let me look on my other computer behind me. I don't know what's going on. That's 
one. nice. Apparently they didn't go through and I didn't pay attention that they didn't go through because I'd switched because I had to get up and do things. I didn't see that they didn't go through. Okay, well they're through now. <laughs> okay, I should be able to see them now. I don't know if I was having an internet problem or what, but there was like a red thing telling me that it didn't go through. Alright, now they're there. Anyway, um, today if you're in my Patreon and you're in the one to five dollar tier I will roll a die when if you buy something I will roll a die and whatever it lands on is what your percentage off will be for your total if you're in the ten dollar to fifteen dollar tier you're gonna get five percent off plus I'll roll one die for an additional percentage off um, whatever it lands on that'll be like so if you you're automatically gonna get five percent and if I roll a three you're gonna get an extra three percent off so that's eight percent total if you're in the $25 and up tier, you're going to get 7% off your total, plus I'll roll the die for an additional percentage off, and you'll get to spin the wheel for an additional prize. So that's the rules for today. The rules? No, that's the discount for today. Yeah, I'll, yeah, I'll be fine. If, I, if, it, if there's a problem, I'll let you know, and, and then you could do it. But I think it'll be fine. All right, so we're going to take a look at the first item. Um, let me just double check my email real quick and make sure if anybody sent me an email, I have it. Um, I don't have any emails from anybody. If so, if you wanted to bid on anything. Unless my email, hold on, it's loading again. Yeah, I don't see any e new emails. So if you have sent me an email because you want to bid, maybe resend it or let me know if you sent it or not. Okay. Oh, you sent a Facebook message, Charnel? Okay. Let me make sure I got that as well. You could send a Facebook message either way. Just make sure you let me know. Um, where did you send it to? Did you send it to my Pink Poodle Crafts? Or did you send it to me, Stacy Evans? This computer is so slow. It drives me nuts. Come on. <laughs> I don't see any message from you, Chanel. So if you sent me one, you might have sent it to the wrong person. I'm not sure. I don't see one under my pink poodle either. So I send it to my email, pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com. Just cut and paste and send it, send it to my email. Just cut and paste what, you know, the message you sent and send it to my email because that'll be easier. It's easier if you just send it to my email unless you're a friend of mine on Facebook because otherwise it goes to like every other place. All right, let me start with the first thing. I've got a lovely random bag of goodies. Um, hi, Jeannie. Uh, starting off, I have a bunch of these brushes. Um, they're like, this one here, these kind here hold water in them. They're like a water brush, like a Japanese brush, but it's like it holds its own water. You, you put water, you like suck the water up in it. You can, I don't remember how you do it, but you suck, yeah, you use this little thing and you pull it and it sucks the water in it. And it's like a water brush, but it's one of those Japanese brushes. And see, here's the, 
the other kind. I have this kind too, which is these here. Um, but I have a bunch, oh, and these. So I have a bunch of oh, that's empty. water brushes and these brushes here. I mean, they're like cheapy brushes, but you know, fun to play with. And then, so a bunch of those to play around with. There is an empty file folder thing. You can use it for your graphics or for like your die cuts. You can put them in this. And then, you know, lock it up. Here's another one. This one, the thing goes, where, oh, the thing's missing. So you put another one here. You could put like a, a, a brad or something there to make it hook onto it or something. Um, but here's another one for your graphics or your die cuts or your dies or whatever you want to use it for. Um, here is some stickers. This one is rub-ons. No, these are rub-ons. Fishing related. Here's some NASCAR stickers. Here is some MTV buttons. Just for fun. That has like the vintage MTV logos and stuff. Here is some letter stickers. Here is some frames, little framelit cutouts. A couple of postcards. You can either paint over them or keep them the way they are. National Park postcards. Here is some, uh, it's kind of that organza fabric stuff. A piece of, it's like a green color. It has a hole in the center. I guess somebody used it for something maybe. I'm not sure, but it's still fun. I mean, plenty of it to use for Christmas crafts or whatever you're doing. Little bits for things. And here's an, a piece of pink to use for what have you. All kinds of goodies for your random crafting. Here's a piece of this stuff, which is what they put things in, like, I don't even know what, but it's, like, usually, like, wrapped around something. But it's good for mixed media because it's that cool kind of net stuff. You can use it for all kinds of different mixed media stuff. That's what I use it for. Some sailboat stickers, and they're like felt sewn. They're actually like stitched. That's a piece of paper. There's some of these little tags that have the metal around them. These are red and green, so they're good for Christmas. There is a whole bunch of gauze. So if you're looking for gauze, you know how I like to dye the gauze? I have a bunch here. I threw in this thing. So there's like literally, this will last you a lifetime because. I might have used this much in my whole life <laughs> crafting up till now, but here's some more. <laughs> and then I've got, um, oh wait, here's some more. So, and then I've got um, a bunch of these little bags, like there's organza bags and then there's this, like some other little bags. Um, you can reuse them, you can dye them, make them into like Christmas things for presents that you're putting together and then there's a piece of hot pink organza that's what these are made of is organza so you can make more of them if you want here's a bigger brown one a bigger teal one a bigger blue one and a gray bigger gray and then here's like a little fabric one with a flower it's a little fabric one a bigger green one a black satin one, a purple, a brown, a black, oh, another piece of gauze, <laughs> a pizza patch that is left on the fabric, it's like a piece of corduroy or something, it's like a, not corduroy, but it's like that heavy, thick cotton, like a pair of pants would be or something. Um, 
there is some cut out like letters and numbers in here or maybe it's just letters just random cutouts there are some stickers for a baby boy there are another sticker for a baby boy that came off of there because it's supposed to be on that one but I'm gonna leave it there and then there's these other stickers for a baby boy yeah this is a very random package then there's this which is it has some letter stickers and some flag stickers this has some random letters in a teal color oh and there's like a little frame thing and then here's a bunch of leaves it's like there's like I don't know a bunch in there maybe like 25 or 30 of them in there of the leaves and then let's see what's this no that, that is there is this little thing of paper I like little scrap papers different colors in there so that's everything um it's just a bunch of random mishmash I'm going to put when I put the word go in, um, you can start bidding, but please no chatting while the bidding is happening. Yeah, it's a lot of, it's a lot of junk. I'll let time for the, the lag to go so that you know that I'm hitting go. Because there is a bit of a lag between me, so I'm going to hit enter. And hit the timer too. Almost forgot about that. I started the timer. And when it gets to the 30 second mark, I will let you know in the chat. But if you do a little sewing, you have stuff to do that with. If you do mixed media, you got some things to do that with. If you do card making, you got some stuff to do that with. So just a mishmash of stuff to mess around with. I'll take some of these smaller bags and put them into the bigger bag. A lot of these bags I've been holding on to forever and ever and ever, and I probably have more somewhere. I just have to, I've been doing all that organizing and cleaning and getting everything organized better. And I keep coming across all this little stuff that I'm like, okay, I don't really need that. I don't really need that. <laughs> but I know somebody else will like it. seconds. I'll even throw that fabric in there. The organza. The organza. And actually, let me throw that in here. All right, it looks like Mary Jane's got it for $10. Lots of goodies, Miss Mary Jane. Congrats. Throw it all back in the bag. Get over here.
Okay. All right, next up. On there real quick. I lost my tape dispenser. I gotta go find it. I gotta find it. Um, I've got a sketchbook. I don't have anybody right now, but Janie will be here soon. It's fine. Um, a sketchbook. It has one page that's used. I didn't want to take it out because it was pretty interesting. Somebody's trying to draw something. Um, or two pages. Or a couple pages, maybe. But if, if it is used, it's very, very... Like, look. They did really good. I actually didn't want... You can erase it, but... Yeah, there's a couple pages used, but other than that, it's got all of this pages unused. And then there's this one, basic mat cutting, in case anybody does mat cutting at all or wants to know how, you know, for, for, for you know, doing pictures, framing and all that stuff. It'll teach you how to cut mats and stuff. And there is this book here, which I've had this book for a long time. It's um, all about wicker cane and willow and how to do like baskets and weaving and all kinds of interesting stuff. It's got really nice pictures in it. That's why I liked it so much. But yeah, it teaches all kinds of stuff about wicker and cane and it's got tons of cool pictures in it. And then I've got this encyclopedia world book. Um, it's F. So Got some cool pictures in it. Flowers, tons of flowers. Florida, floods, flags. Fish. First aid, firebird, fire department. Finland, <laughs> field marshal, fiber. So we'll start the bidding at a dollar for this, and I'll give it a second for the thing to uh, not have a lag. Yeah, she was here. I've seen her before. Yep, there's probably something in here about ferrets, I would imagine. Maybe not. I don't know. That would be back here. Let's see, I wonder. Fine arts. Look, right here. <laughs> I opened the book to it. The black-footed ferret. Ferret. 
talks a little bit about ferrets. <laughs> and then it goes into the Ferris wheel and fairies. All right, Mary Jane, you got it. You came in after the stop, Miss Teresa. You got it for seven dollars. Next up, I have, um, it's a box, it's called Paint and Bake, and it's for painting on glass, and it, you bake it, I guess, to make the paint stay, and it comes with all the paint, um, and they're all in here, and they're not dried up or anything. This is a, what color is that? It's like a pink. I don't know. But there's all kinds of paints, and there's brushes, and a little spoon for some other, I don't know, for some reason or another. But the box needs to be taped. I'm actually going to grab my tape from over there real quick. I need my scotch tape anyway. There it is. I knew I found it tape the box a little bit better but um we will start this at a uh at a dollar I will type in for that as see on TV when I have no idea probably the 90s who knows I don't know, but I gotta fix the box. So while you guys are bidding real quick, I will give this a tape, a little tape into, just so it's not. Oh. Maybe somebody will grab it for a couple dollars and play with it. And paint some ceramics or glass or whatever you want to do with it. You could paint you some pretty wine glasses. <laughs> or if you have a kid, grandkid, you can give it to them to play with. Get some cheap glasses from a thrift store and let them, you know, paint some glasses that they can. And then you bake it and it stays. There we go. Taped up. out this part which is the instructions well I'm, I'm going to just put them on top because I ain't untaping the whole thing now <laughs> I 
gives you some like things you can use for patterns. It's from 1997. That's when it's from 1997 because it says it right there. Right there. Designed this kit to allow you to decorate stemware, glass, vases, bowls, or cups to match your something. Okay. Stop. <laughs> Teresa, you got it. some books for beading I have and these are all fairly you know in the last couple years because I have these were mine um, this one here is different metal working for beading for beaters so it has all kinds of gives you all kinds of good ideas for stuff plus it's got some so if you like to do jewelry Talk about how you can hammer like metal and stuff like that because I used to do like some metal ham, ham yep metal hammering on some things um, so all stuff all, all types of interesting stuff in here and then there's some magazines beating beating and stringing magazines get over here cool Um, which I've made quite a few things out of these books when I used to sell jewelry and stuff. I've done quite a few of these. And so you get this one. And this one, there's one, two... There's wire work, so if you like to do wire work, it teaches you how to do, like, there's some things in here that'll teach you how to do some stuff with, you know, wires. It teaches you how to make certain things with the wires, like these, I've made these before. Like rings, and you can make all kinds of things with wire, just rings, chains, um, all kinds of stuff. And then here's another wire jewelry one with all about different wire making wire jewelry I made that necklace this one here where'd it go that one I made and then here's beat it today magazine I love that one it's pretty this one I made that one as well something like it, it wasn't exactly but I've made pendants like that. I used to sell a lot of pendants like that. Mixed media pendants and stuff. So there's some cool stuff in there. And then this one is a book um, about weaving wire. I made a really cool necklace doing wire weaving. It took forever, but it was very big too. But it teaches you how to do that as well. So we'll start these off at one dollar for those magazines. Hi JD, weren't you already here? 
you just come back in? Yeah, I made this necklace too. This one with the, the fabric and the beads. I had the same beads and everything. I made this one. Or, well, I didn't have exactly the same beads on this one, but I made, I had similar beads, but it came out really nice. Um, I didn't make that one, but I've made one like that. I did this one, because I really like that one. Didn't do that one. Oh, okay. I did a variation of this one with the things in the middle, but... I didn't like it as much. That one's nice, but I didn't do that one either. I did this one where I put did the chain and then it came into like the beaded thing and I put a medallion because I had some of those. I've done this one. I didn't do this one. Uh, no. I did this one, the three, three tiers of beads, except I didn't have enough like flat beads to like cause these are like the saucer beads. I didn't have enough of those to do the whole thing, so I just did like a variety of stuff, but it was very colorful and pretty. I actually made several of these. I made these earrings because I have this exact filigree, which is how I started getting filigrees. And then you put the little jump rings on it with the little beads on it. I did that. I made a lot of pairs of those too. I did not do that one. I did this one. Similarly, I didn't have the exact beads, but very similar beads. I think I did mine in blue anyway. I made this one because I had a feather bead or charm and I had, I already had a wired wrap thing. So I, all I had to do was put a thing and I did put a thing on it, but it wasn't the same thing. Little word sticker thing. It was like a three dimensional resin sticker. All right, 30 seconds. Miss Teresa, you got it. All right, congrats. This cover's more of a thicker cover. All right. Next up, I have some Christmas stockings that you can do um, embroidery or cross stitch on. They're brand new. They still have the tags on them. Um, there's a blue one, there's a red one with stars, this one has snowflakes, uh, this one is green with stars, this one's red with stars, this one's green with stars, so there's five all together. You can put, you know, names in it and all kinds of things. You don't need patterns to do cross stitch. Cross stitch is like drawing. You're just, you just take a, take a marker and you would write the name and then you just make little X's to, to stitch out the name. And then you just fill the background in with little X's and you can do it in different colors, all kinds of things. Super easy. You can find plenty of tutorials online if you're unsure. All right. But easy peasy, easy peasy. Easy peasy. 
Käse. Hi to anybody that come in that is new. I also have boho kits today. I have these paper kits that I put together. Um, of course I have fabric. Uh, and other things as well. And we'll do a giveaway after this. Hi, little gypsy. Lori has it at $5 so far. We've got 30 seconds left. Mary Jane's got it for seven. gonna make these for Mary Jane bag of Christmas stuff. What is this? I don't remember what's in this bag. Anyway, there it is. Look. Well, it's on the floor now. <laughs> what a good that's going to do me. Good Lord. Anyway, there's this cute little snowman. He's a candle holder. You put a little tea light candle and you'll see the light behind the little sparkles. The sparkly belly he's got. He's really cute. I almost kept him because, but I was like, meh. Then there is a, one of those plastic stars that you can open and fill it with all kinds of things. Glitter, whatever. You can paint it. You can make it into like a little shadow box inside. Let's see if I can pick up everything I dropped on the floor. I got some cards that you can use for crafting because these are like just the fronts of the card. So you can use those for crafting. Look how cute. You can cut those out individually even. Here's the front of another card with an angel. Here's this one, which opens like this. It says joy to the world on the inside. And there's just a card front here. That one's really pretty. Another one. And another and another, and another, and lastly, and then, after I dropped everything, get over here, fool, there's the 
this little ornament. It's sparkly on both sides. Very pretty. It is a box of cards. Oh, that's another card front. But this is a box of cards. It says Happy Holidays, and there's envelopes. There is another box of cards. I don't know about you, but I like to use, you know, cards, like these kind of cards for journal making. You can make an entire journal, which I'll probably show for around Christmas time, how to make a journal with just using cards. And there's cards and envelopes. You can just take cards and envelopes and make a whole journal. There is a set of confettis, and those are little snowflake confettis, and little stars and snowflakes, snowmen, and stars. There is a little kit to make a little ornament. There is a bunch of goodie bags. These are plastic goodie bags, uh, still in plastic. Um, make them for the kids, neighbors' kids, whoever. This one has the ties. This one doesn't have any ties to it, but obviously you could just use string or something. Two packs of those. A whole pack of glittery ribbon ornament thingies. You can use them for crafting to glue onto something or just put them on your tree. A brand new roll of this ribbon that has snowflakes. It's like a, a sparkly burlap. And randomly, I put a dream catcher in here. Not for any other reason, but because that's where it ended up. <laughs> so. All right. Hi, Barbara. All right. So I'm going to put go in the chat so that you can bid. Starting off at a dollar as usual. Hi, Debbie. Welcome. There's um, three yards of this in here. Three yards of ribbon or whatever it is. dollars and we got our 30 second warning Got it for nine dollars. Congrats, Miss G. Oh, 
wait. Hold on a second, what's in here? There's two more things for you, Jeannie, I forgot about. <laughs> I moved them over so I wouldn't break them. There was a little um, uh, candle holders. There's two of them, actually, that go together. And they're vintage, by the way, too. So you get them for a steal. But oh, there they are. There she is. A snow woman and a snowman. So they'll be in your package. I had them wrapped up and I moved them over so I wouldn't, so I could show them last and then I forgot to pull them out. Cause duh. Let's do a giveaway. this little composition notebook. You can turn it into a little collage journal. Zoe, welcome Zoe and congrats. And then there's some little stickers in there and some baker's twine and some sailboat stickers. Little three-dimensional felt sailboat stickers. I can't speak today. Sailboat stickers. Congrats, Miss Zoe. Is this going to fit in there? Probably not. I'm hoping it will because it will make it easier. No, it won't. Will this? No. Okay. Well, then we'll just, I'll find a bag for it later. I'll stick some tape around it. <laughs> Where are you, Zoe? Oh, I didn't need to put that on there because I already... Oh, whatever. Doesn't matter. I already wrote it. Die. I don't remember her last name. <clears throat> I'll look on Facebook later. Step, I have another lovely random bag of fun things like this is an advent calendar <clears throat> and there's like little things in there you pop them out and I guess it's just it's a card so this big envelope you can give it away you know for Christmas but it's like a card so I don't I mean, there's nothing, I don't think there's anything in it. There's probably just like a little saying or a little something or other. I don't know. 
I don't know because I haven't opened it, obviously. And then there are these little cute little photo gift tags. You could put your photo in it or somebody's photo in it. Um, and then there are feathers. Let me move this down here. These are feathers. There's some multicolor feathers and some purple and pink feathers. There's two bags of feathers in there. And then here is another bag of feathers. Here is some cross stitch fabric. Here's a couple of those bags <clears throat> from the other, like the other one I had, those, you know, little, whatever they're called, organza bags. I'm going to shove this stuff up here so I can get this bag off my lap because it's about to drop. Everything in it is going to drop on the floor. I shouldn't have let Chris have that little table I was going to get. <laughs> and I told him he can have it, but I should have kept it for myself because I could have used it. Then there is this, which is a calendar, but the graphic is really pretty on it, and I thought somebody can use it, and you can, there's photos, or graphics in these little, in all the little things here. Oh no, there isn't, there's just calendar pages, I thought there was a graphic in there. But anyway, that I thought was really pretty, and somebody might want it to do something with. Um, and then there's these little cards, and they were apparently drawn by kids I think and this is happy birthday oh they're like little fronts of cards maybe I don't know yeah they're like little fronts of cards or little card inserts I don't really know there's a bunch that say happy birthday there's ones that say I love you there's some ones that say hope you'll be here hope you'll be well soon another happy birthday more that say I love you so oh there's this one that's Somebody drew them, I guess, and then printed them out. It's cute to use in like a little kid's journal type of thing. Here are some cards. These are cute. They're shaped like little churches. Easter cards. More Easter cards and envelopes. It's Easter. It's all ripped anyway. A little pretty princess uh, sticker, dimensional sticker set. Um, somebody did a cross stitch that is already started. There is some little plastic canvas squares, a whole bunch of them. In round and square, round, round, square, and more round. There's this little cross stitched thing, which is done. So all I gotta do is frame it. It says recipe for a happy home. Cute. Cute. Oh, and there's more. There's more. There is a whole purple, like a purpley pink color garland for a tree. Like little snowflake plastic garland crafts are for a tree. Oh, here's some more. Different, a little bit different kind. These are stars. These are snowflakes. And then there's a couple packs of playing cards. These are those cards that you use in the Rolodex. I have a small Rolodex somewhere, but that I was, I'm going to put in the auction. I don't know if it's in this the stuff I have for today or not. It's somewhere. <laughs> it probably is. Um little paper umbrellas for your drapes or for crafts. So we'll start this off at a dollar. Next up, I have some uh, some fat.
fabrics. These were used in a casino, these decks of cards, like in an actual casino. Because once they use them, they have to label them. And they put a thing on it that says, this deck of cards was used in, an act in actual play in this fabulous casino. Texas Station. I don't know where that casino is, though. Interesting. I think they use them, like, once, and then they... They're, like, one shift, and then they have to get a new deck when they go on shift. That's why they're not very broken in, because they're, like, pretty much, like, new. All right, Miss Kristen. You got it, Miss Kristen. Don't be drinking and bidding, Barbara. <laughs> okay. Hi, Esther. I got some fabric pieces. This was the start. Somebody was making a pillow. And they haven't finished it because they left, you know, this undone back here. Like the backing or something. Either that or they pulled this off. I don't know if they did or not. But it needs to be, it needs a backing piece and then some stuffing to be made into a pillow. I think they were, somebody was making it to be honest. But it's really pretty. There's a random piece of green felt in here. Use it for your Christmas craft. And there's another pillow. This one I almost kept and, and did because all it needs is the filling and just to be sewn up because it's all done. And it's real pretty blue and brown. So that one just needs to be filled. And then there is a piece of fabric here. 
which is really nice. It's like a, and it's got um, an end on it that was like that size because it was cut a little bit shorter. Um, so it's got that end on it there. I guess you can use it either way, that way or this way. So it's a pretty decent sized piece of fabric there to play with. Make more pillows with or what have you. And then some green felt and some pillows starting. Start, starts of pillows. I can't speak. some pillies, pillars, pilly pillars. like Barbara has got it at 30 at five dollars I mean right now with 30 seconds left so quiet because people are bidding. Barbara, you got it for five dollars. rainbow scarf really cute little vintage rainbow scarf from probably the 70s or 60s I've got some cute silk material here 
in like purple and plum and a little pink and gray. It's a pretty long piece. It's about a little over a yard, I'd say. remnant of this little floral piece here. This looks like a vintage piece of something or other. And then we've got some fall leaves on here. If I can get it open. There. A piece of fall leaf fabric. Fall leaf. And some orange football fabric. This is uh, folded over twice here. It's still folded over once, so pretty good size, about a yard. Football fabric for the football fans. We have some camouflage fabric with some strings on it. <laughs> Stringies. And this has got a corner taken out of it. And it's got some stuff on it that heat and bond. So it's already just this part here does. So if you cut stuff out of it, it'll you can just iron it right on. The rest of it doesn't have it on there, just that piece, but it's got that much. It's just this little piece that's from here over. It's got heat and bond on it already. And then a big piece of red with white polka dots on it. And this one's pretty big. This one's probably about two yards worth and it's folded over. So it's double what you're seeing here in width. And then the length is this long. And then there is a piece of this white silk. Whee! That's a nice sheer material. Like, pretty. And there is a piece of black, which is a little stretchy. Not a lot stretchy, but a little stretchy. And it's about a yard and a quarter maybe long which I can't hold very well and then lastly there are some quilters templates and stuff this is um something to do with chevron, making a chevron quilt and this is a quilter's template, and then there's postcard quilts. Oh, this is for making postcard quilts? I don't know. I probably didn't look at, look at it close enough. Oh yeah, it's patterns to make postcard quilts. Okay. Cute. I'm going to make a postcard quilt or a quilted postcard. And then there's these, which are for like making a sneak peek of something on the fabric going, oh yeah, that's a good spot and template to cut. And there's all different geometric shapes on this one. And this one here is a different one with different shapes. And then there's another quilt, uh, template thing, another one, another smaller corner, something or other, and that one. So we'll start these off at a dollar.
Yeah, I don't know about quilting enough to know, other than the fact that I can tell that it's for cutting out different patterns to make different types of quilts, I guess. Oh, this is for making those little, like, mermaid scale quilts. I always wanted one of those. It's like a traditional square. Is it two squares or is this one? Oh, two different size squares. Gotcha. I, I get it. Barbara says she wants it. <laughs> Barbara gets it for 25. Congrats, Miss Barbara. Janie is having internet problems, so she'll be here shortly. As soon as it's fixed, anyway. Alright, let me grab something else. Some more Christmas goodies. Christmas goodies. This is a roll of that. It's a big roll of that stuff. I don't know what this stuff is called. I always forget. There's probably quite a few yards still left on there because it's... I don't know. So, I can't remember what this stuff is called. My brain is not able to... What is she saying? What is this for? Quit drinking! <laughs> <laughs> and then there is some of this cute silver ribbon and there's like a whole wad of it and then there's a second wad of it here no this isn't tulle this is some sort of weird stuff and there's another wad of that there is some iridescent, which you can't see the iridescent, so to you it looks clear, but if you get it, you'll see that there's like purple in it. When the light hits it, it's like purple. It's really pretty. And there is some teeny tiny ornaments, and I think these are all glass. Yeah. There is a little angel ornament. What is on that? Um, hold on. It's stuck to it. Thank <sighs> you. 
Hold on. Okay. Anywho, there's this little angel ornament. There is. This little starbursty kind of glittery ornament. There is glass ornaments here. So, there's a couple of them that broke, but there's still a bunch of them on there. There is an earring that has this cute little tassel on it. It could be used for something. And get over here there is this really cute angel with like a little Hawaiian dress on and it has some sort of tag on it it's from the island of Kauai cute little angel ornament a roll of Christmas ribbon. What is that? Oh. There are button covers. Uh, you can make like Christmas little button thingies. There is some sheer white fabric. There's some white cream colored kind of yarn stuff. There is this little roll of Christmas ribbon. There is some Christmas stretchy cord and some this cording like red and green and white and candy cane. And that is it. Where's the bag? Oh, okay, that's it. For a minute there, I was confused. Yeah, these are like little button covers. I don't even know how they got in there. But I open this. They're like you can make your own little fabric buttons and whatnot. It doesn't need the whole big bag though. I guess I don't know what the hell that does, but you can throw them all in there like that. There's some other stuff. I don't know. I got you. Know. All right, we'll get ready to bid. There you go. You could see kind of the purple right there. Pretty. That's some pretty white organza ribbon. I still don't know what this stuff is called. This weird woven ribbony stuff. I don't know.
Alright. And Jeannie, you got it, Miss Jeannie. I'm probably going to take this off the roll when I send it to you. Because it, otherwise it'll be a pain in the ass to fit it anywhere. Let's put that on the floor. I got glitter all over my desk now. Glitter all over. Oh crap. These papers keep flying all over because I can't find my little clipboard. I don't know where the hell anything is at this point. It's all gone. I don't know what I did with it, honestly. I usually don't move it from this area, but apparently I did. And so that makes my papers all loose. Loosey goosey. I can show the next thing. I gotta move this stuff out of the way because I have no room for it. And I can't move again. So give me a second. Transfer some of the crap out of the way. checking what am I checking for Jeannie got it in before the stop Lori got it in after the stop right here Lori is after the stop Jeannie is before the stop all righty No, on some people's screen, it's going to show one person, but on my screen, I have to be the screen that, the settling screen. So on some people's screen, it's going to show one name and some people's screen is going to show another. So I have to go by what's on my screen and my screen shows that Jeannie um, got it in before the stop. Sorry, Lori. <clears throat> Alrighty, I've got some woven squares um, or crocheted or whatever. I use them as doilies, as pot holders, as something. And then this is a uh, little embroidered kitty cat. It's probably vintage for sure. <laughs> it's cute, little cat on a rocking chair. And then there's some more of these squares bunches of them somebody was having a field day doing the square thing and they're probably from like the 70s they're probably vintage but they, they're, they look like they're in pretty good shape though there ain't nothing wrong with them so you can make yourself a blanket which might be what they were doing putting these together to you know put them all together at the end and make a blanket or something If you're somebody who crochets, you can finish it and make yourself a vintage little blanket. <laughs> There's that one, and I think this is the last one. And then there is some red, green, and white yarn. Oh, there's another square here, but I'm not sure that goes with that set exactly. 
Um, let's just go. There it is. There is some green embroidery floss. There is some of this really pretty, the tag came off of it, uh, or um, like a, like yarn, different colored, pink and yellow and teal and blue. And there is some pink, sparkly, like small little eyelash trim. Just sticking to that. And there's another ball of the yarn of the red, white, and green. Stop it. <laughs> Refusing to cooperate. All right. So all those goodies. I'll start that off at a dollar. Or snoring. <laughs> Why do I have to? What? Oh, thank you, Monique. You don't have to do that to bid. I'm confused. Who said that? You don't have to do that to bid. Just chat in the chat. Who's, I don't know where you saw that from. I have no idea why you did that. You must have hit the little dollar sign icon by accident. The little gypsy has it for three dollars right now. We're gonna have our thirty-second warning. You got it. Congrats, Miss Tiffany. Monique, have you figured out what's wrong? I don't know why she thought she had to do a super chat to bid. It's kind of weird.
she never answered me back when I say something in the chat. Let me message her and see if I can find out why she did that. What do you mean it's asking for money? I'm confused at why it would do that. Are you talking in the chat or are you hitting the little dollar sign? Don't hit the little dollar sign. Make sure you're just talking and hitting enter. I don't know why it's asking for money. I've never heard of that. Yeah, in the chat, it shouldn't be asking for money unless, you, unless you're clicking on the little dollar sign. Well, yeah, she's typing now. Yeah, she knows how to do it. She's typing now because she switched to her thing. That's so weird. I don't know why it's doing why it would do that. I've never heard of that before. That's a first. Weird. Weird, weird, weird. Okay, so I have some boho fabrics and such. So I have some trims and fabrics here. These are from India. pretty well, beaded and pretties pretty pretties this one's got on like little metallic threads going through it very pretty and this one's got beads and pearls very pretty and some ribbon that's like you can do it on that side or that side. This side's more shiny. Gold. And then we've got that piece. And this piece. What else is in here? And this piece. And then we have some bigger pieces of fabric that have the edges that have the little trims on it on the edge. And here's one in blue and black. And here's like a, with a peacock on it. This one's in like a pink and blue or lavender and blue. And then, oh, I forgot a trim. There's a, another trim piece. And then this is a green with little bits of purple and blue in there. And then this is like a maroon color. Put that on the end. Little paisleys. And there is some sorry strands to make a tassel with or something. There's like six or so pieces. Yeah, six pieces to make like a sorry tassel. And lastly, in my favorite kind of bag. <laughs> You 
hear that? Belly dance. A belly dancing scarf. Um, you can use it for how it is, or you can take all the little coins off of it and put it onto um, a journal or whatever and take the trim off, and you can dissect it if you want to, um, or you can use it as is for something. I have one, I always, I, I've had one hanging above my desk up on the wall for years. It's been there since this room was my bedroom. But this one, I used to belly dance years ago. I have a really, really, I have a really expensive belly dancing belt somewhere in stored downstairs. But so we will start the bidding for everything at a dollar. There you go, you can wear it in the bedroom for your significant other. And if they're drunk enough when you do it, you'll look like a real belly dancer to them. <laughs> but like I said, you can also dissect it and do some whatever with it. There's enough of these little coins that if you did a pillow or a journal or something, you can have little charms. more stuff to it you know I will so it's now gonna get added more fabric and trims a second belt to it as well I'll add so there'll be two of these so there'll be more fabrics more trims and um, another scarf all right miss crystal You got it, Miss Crystal. Now, I have four of these, but all the stuff is not exactly the same, but there's exactly the same amount of stuff. I can do, if, if Amy and Barbara want it, I can do, um, I can add extra fabric in yours. Amy, if you wanted to stick to $90, I can add extra fabric in, uh, in yours. And Barbara, I can do it the way it is and add just a couple extra pieces. Do you want to do that? Crystal's going to get an extra thing and a bunch of extra pieces because for her, $125. And then if, Amy, if you want it for $90, I can do extra, a bunch of extra trims or fabrics. Let me know. I can customize it to your, you know, your budget. I ain't talking to you, Barbara. <laughs> you don't want it, Barbara?
Amy, do you want it? Can she not hear me? Miss Amy, do you want do you want another one? Uh I I can't really do that. That's I mean, they're similar to these. I mean I could show you the bag. Because I'm gonna either that or bid them off. Okay, then I'll just put them. I'll just put them up for bid. crochet yarns and stuff this has a it has a thing in it um i'm not sure if it i didn't i don't remember if this one had it, the pattern yeah i think it just has the pattern in it yeah it has the pattern for it but otherwise it has all the yarns to make that i guess if you wanted to um all you'd need is the uh fabric stuff to make it with or whatever you use to make that with or just use the yarns for something else. And then there is some other yarns. There's another kit in here to make this kind of, what is it called? Ancient cross, four corners of the earth. There's, there's the pattern and there's like stuffing in there. I guess you can make it into something, I don't know. And there is a little itty bitty kit with a little Christmas bear make a little cross stitch bear I don't know what this is it just has a piece of fabric and some I guess to make a name it gives you a little pattern that has letters on it I don't know this one's learn to crochet and it has a little Noah's Ark night crystal this is another little cross stitch thing it has a frame and all the little stuff in it to make it this is a pom-pom a really fluffy pom-pom that has little strings on it to put it on something a hat or whatever don't roll away this is somebody started doing something with this and they taped the edges and then they put it in this hoop but they never did it so one of you guys that is crafty can do it here is a cute little owl that's not finished, but he has his needle and his thread here. And he's not done yet. He needs somebody to finish him. He's not done. Same with this. This looks like a little Holly Hobby style doll bending over by a mouse. Here is a piece that has the outline on it. Needs to be sewn, done something with. And then here's another one that has a frame similar to that. And we'll start this off at Adela. Pom Pom needs googly eyes. <laughs> Who's the sewer? Or the sewer? Not me. I need to run to the potty, so while you guys are bidding, I'm going to run to the potty. I'll be right back.
30 seconds. 30 seconds, 30 seconds. All right, Teresa, you got it, Miss Teresa. Remember if you're before you leave, make sure you send me a PayPal, please, with your total payment. Alright, so I put together these packs of paper. Um, and basically, it's a big stack of paper that you can use for your crafting. That's the whole reason why I wanted to get my closet cleaned out. Was because I had a lot of really cool paper that, you know, not everybody's going to have paper like this. Um, for journal making, mostly. You could do whatever you want with it, but I have interesting papers that would be fun to use to either coffee dye or just use in your journals or dye them however you want or just use them the way they are. And then other things too, like this envelope, this big giant envelope, you could turn it into a journal or something, but it opens up like this and you can, you know, make it into a, uh, like a folio type of thing or a journal. And you can coffee dye it or paint it or do whatever you want with it. Another envelope is this one here. You can make this into, I've done these a lot of times where I make them into journal covers. Hello? Focus, jackass. So it's a big white envelope. You can make it into a journal cover, paint it or dye it or whatever. And then here are some of those bank pages. They're gonna be stuck together. But there's four of those. So you get four of those. Uh, I'm going to try to keep count of what I got here because I don't even know how many I, I have here. And I didn't count when I was putting it together. So there's, I know that there's three envelopes all together there, but. And then I'll just count how many papers all together there are as I go. So there's four of those. And there is two of these, which is like um, teacher uh, attendance things or whatever. These are good to coffee dye as well. Um, there is two pieces of large tracing paper. Stuck together. Three pieces. Sorry, I lied. Three pieces of tracing paper. Here's the other envelope. It's a smaller one. There is, if I can get it out, that would be great. There is cardstock, blue cardstock. Four pieces of blue cardstock. There is 
this paper here. It's like a brownish color and it's it's not it's it's a thinner paper, but it's not it's thicker than thicker than copy paper, but thinner than cardstock if that makes sense. So it's like an in between. There's four pieces of that. And then there is some of this really nice, um, like, professional paper. It's got, like, the little speckles in it, you know, like, and it's like a cream color. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six pieces of that. And then there's, this is copy paper. It's just blue. One, two two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So there's 12 pieces of that. And then there is pink. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's nine pages of that. I don't know why I did odd numbers. <laughs> and there's red. One, two, and these are all copy paper. Three, four, five, six of those. And there is green this like light green cardstock it's kind of like a mint green and there is three pieces of that then there is um this is cardstock it's a, like a vanilla color and it's got those fancy speckle things in it again and this one there is one two three four five six six pieces of that but wait, there's more. <laughs> For only $39.99.99. I'm just kidding. Okay, so then there is... Okay. Then there is typing, like a typing paper. Or like a, It's kind of like got those... I don't know if it'll show up. That kind of ribbed pattern. I can't explain it. It's ribbed for her pleasure. <laughs> and there's one, two, three four, five, and six of that. And then there is this one, which has a really nice little frame around it. And there is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. And then there is this here, which is, is it the same as that? It's a little bit of a different color than that, I think. Let me see. Is it? No, maybe not. They were from two different packs. I thought they were. I think I thought they were different, but whatever. So here's more of the same thing then. <laughs> I think I thought they were different papers, but maybe they're not. They kind of look different. I don't know. Anyway, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. Then there's these, which is like a thick card stock. So this would be good. You can make cards with it or just use it however. There's one, two, three, four of those. So that's thick white card stock. Then there is this typing paper, which is really got, it's got like a cool pattern to it. And it's got like that watermark stuff that sometimes you get with typing papers. It's kind of cool. There's one, two, three, four of those. Then there is, let's see. This one has like a background to it. It's like a stationary paper and it has like a light painted, kind of watercolor painted background on it. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six of those. There is one of these, which you can, 
cut it into fours. Um, it's not cut it. It's got perforations to make like four postcards, but you can use these as like obviously in like a vintage journal or something. Okay, and then we have, there is two of these. Thanksgiving greeting paper, two of those. That's vintage, by the way. There is two ledger papers, which are attached. You can take them apart. There is three graph papers. And then there are Okay, you'll probably barely be able to see it. Oh, you can see it. There's a, a very subtle music paper. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight of those. And then you get two sheets of this stationary paper. It's like blue with the little speckles on it. And two sheets of this, which is, it says achievement. It says listening comes before understanding. Understanding comes before w uh, wisdom. And it has like a pretty sunset scene on it. There's one sheet of the panda bear. Little guy there. We're not done yet. Got a few more. There is one tie-dye. There is. <clears throat> one stationary with the flowers. There is another purple stationary with pink flowers. And there is purple copy paper. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of those. And go. And okay. oh, okay. so, more typing paper. This is like a vintage typing paper. It's got like um, a little bit of a discoloration to it, like vintage coloration. It's actually one of my favorite papers because it, it's already kind of got like a vintage look to it. There's two, three, four. Five, six of those. There is three of these in different colors. This is like that certificate paper. And this one's like blue. It's got like a blue speckled background, green with a green speckled background. And then it's got like this orangey red color with the peachy colored background. There's three of those. And then we've got this style. And there's one, two, three, four of those. And there are two sheets of labels. So you can dye these, color these, and then you can use them as stickers. <clears throat> and there is... This has another watermark on it. I don't know if you can see like that fancy paper stuff does. This is like a cream color, real nice paper. One, two, three, four of those. And then there is some white regular cardstock. It's like a nice heavy cardstock. Two, three, four of those. And there's a couple more. I got my little papers here. So there's. These are like a weird, I don't know, they're vintage for sure, but they're like, they're like a shiny paper. It's like a kind of a shiny paper. One, two, three, four of those. Then there is this, which is a really nice textured, not that the texture will really show up. Maybe it will. There it goes. Textured paper and... What did I say there was four of those? I think I counted that right. 
four, four. All right, no, I didn't. Four. And then there is one, two, three, four, five, six of those. And this is a vintage, like, paper that was in a notebook. You could tell it's vintage. Stop unfocusing jackass hello because you could see it's perfectly distressed and there's one two three four five six seven eight of those and that's everything so that means all together that would be let's see hundred and sixty nine papers <laughs> so there's a hundred and sixty nine papers and envelopes that's counting the envelopes hundred and sixty six papers and then three envelopes That's what's in this pack. All different kinds that are, that's the, this is the type of stuff that I use when I'm making my journals. I love using all different types of papers like this, whether I coffee dye them or don't coffee dye them. And, you know, being able to have all different types of paper to work with and not just one plain paper. You know what I mean? I like having all different kinds. So you can make many, many journals with this paper. 169 pages, good lord. You only need, per signature, like 10 pages folded in half. You know what I mean? Per signature. So you've got, you know, enough to do many journals in this stack of papers. So we'll start it out at a dollar. If you guys bid over a certain amount, I'll just add more. I got more. I'll add more papers, more envelopes, whatever. But yeah, this is the type of stuff that I coffee dye. Especially like, you know, I love coffee dyeing the colored papers. The red, you know, that would be good for Christmas. Coffee dyeing that is kind of a moot point. It doesn't, unless you use a really dark coffee stain, it doesn't show up very well. But all the rest of them, coffee dye real nice. Like I love doing the blue and the pink and the green and coffee dyeing it because it comes out real nice. It comes out real vintage looking when you coffee dye it. But the red would be nice for like a Christmas journal. That's a good, you know, red is, red copy paper is a good filler for your Christmas journals and stuff. Because I don't know if anybody's like me. I don't care for white paper. It drives me nuts. So if it's white, I usually coffee dye it or use it for cards. Winnie, quiet. But the only ones that are white is this and obviously the background of this. But that's not really a big deal, but like solid white. There's just some, there's the, the cardstock and then this cards, where to go? This cardstock here. That's really, that's all that's solid white, but these you can use for making cards or backgrounds, or whatever. 
whatever floats your boat. Or you can coffee dye them. All right, Miss Jeannie. Um, I have four of these, so if you want to do, uh, we can even do, um, If you guys wanted, um, like, Be Ma, Tina, Jeannie, if you guys wanted to do um, $27 a piece, and I, they're exactly the same. There's not a, not a piece is any different. They're all the same. I sat and did four sets. I made sure I had enough for all four. So I can do $27 for Tina, Be Ma, Jeannie, if you want them. Tina wants it. Miss Bima, do you want one too? Okay. You grab the other bag. And you know I'll add a few extra in anyway, so. Let me get the other bag of paper. Paper. That's why I have a pe paper closet. Because <laughs> I have a lot, a lot of papers.
Does anybody else? I have two more. Does anybody else want any for 27? Before I move on. I'm going to do the giveaway anyway. Yeah, 27. You want one, Miss Tina? All right, let me get that one. I want it for you. You want one, too? All right. That'll be it, then. That's all I have. JD and Tina. Get the last two. Oh, wait. Hold on. It was... You wanted it, T? So it was Tina and T, right? So you did want it or no? Oh, okay, you don't want it. And JD, you don't want it then? So just Tina? fabric samples um you get this white satiny one <laughs> that's the first time that has ever happened and why i don't know that is so weird i wonder why oh i know why because i'm i'm putting stuff in the chat i've never had that happen before it's because i'm i'm in the chat with the you know stop and go and all that so it's counting me in when it normally doesn't because i don't normally eh, that's funny i could have sworn it should have been turned off where i don't i don't know maybe i didn't do it but bima you get these sample pieces of different fabrics different colors and different like whatever they are, feels, different feels and styles that you can use for crafting. And I'm dropping things. soft velvety kind of piece of fabric rayon and polyester softy soft and I have it in blue as well softy soft with a couple of fuzzies on it like a royal blue really pretty and then there is this piece of softy soft it's also very soft. And there is this piece that's soft. And this is a, a green. 
nice soft piece of green. This feather soft and beautiful. And then we have this here patterned one, which has like a jungle pattern on it. With ferns and plants. Whatever they are, not ferns. Palm leaves or whatever. Palm leaves. And then this one here, which is also very big. This one is like a yellowy green color. Kind of like yellow, I guess. It's stuck on my desk. And it's pretty big as well, like the last one. And then there are um, there is a pink piece of like it's very soft. It feels like I don't know what this is, but I don't know. It's soft, whatever it is. It's like a pink color. It's really pretty. And then there is this long piece, which is um, breast cancer awareness, I, I believe. This is warrior in pink. Um, and it has like, you know, designs on it. Kind of like scarf length, I guess, and width, but it's not scarf really. It's cotton. I guess. I mean, you would. I guess you would wear it around your neck. There is a just a random pink remnant. There is a little bag of this felt in here, which can't get open for some freaking reason. <clears throat> Jackass. There's just uh like felt pieces in this one. Pink, different pink felt pieces. And then whatever that is. <laughs> and then there is some pink, this silky pink stuff, which there's a decent amount of it here. Um, let's fold it over a few times. Let's see. It's a sheer pink fabric. So it's pretty long. Pretty long. And then there's this really, really, really pale pink piece of cotton with a green string on it. <laughs> Has a couple things cut out of it, but... Oh, there's two pieces of it, actually. So there's this piece, and then there's like a cut piece. This piece here, like a remnant piece, little cut piece. And then... There is a piece of this like vintage quilt stuff. This is, um, it's got, it's pinned together. Hold on. Ow. Stick me. But it's got like a, like it must have been a baby quilt or something. But it's got like baby pattern on it. There's two pieces of this, actually. There's two pieces of it. Or three pieces, actually. There's this piece, and then, then there's this piece. And there's extra trim there. So. And then, lastly, and things, staples and things. There is some more of that, this stuff here, smaller pieces of that pink kind of soft stuff. So, we got some greens and blues here and then some pinks 
here. So we will start it off at a dollar. I gotta find my timer. <laughs> Well, I guess her, her, in, I guess, um, um, uh, Janie's internet didn't get fixed. Good Lord. I'd be annoyed with the internet company if that was going on. Be quite annoyed. Coming up on the thirty second mark. Monique, you got it. Congrats, Monique. Oh, it's okay, Janie. Don't worry about it. Don't even sweat it. Not a big deal at all. I'm not going to say I ain't glad you're here, but I don't want you to feel bad about it because it's not your fault. It's not a big deal at all. I'm definitely glad you're here. Is your internet all fixed now? <laughs> you didn't miss it. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's all good. Crap happens. It happens to me too. So don't even sweat it. Were they was it just your house or were they working on you know on the street kind of like was it everybody? Or was it just your area that was having a problem? Oh, really? Ugh, that sucks. That always sucks when that happens. That ain't fair. Okay. Do you want to take over doing the timer? You don't have to. Mm. 
You do? Okay, cool. Cool, thank you, Miss Janie. That'll give me a chance to get some crap out of my way while somebody's bidding. I don't have to babysit the timer. Uh, I gotta take my medicine. I just realized what time it was. It's a half past the monkey's ass and a quarter to his balls. What? All right. All right, I got a bag of beads and doodads up next. <coughs> so there are some green and teal kind of blue uh, wood beads. There are some red beads in here. Red and a few pink. There are some silver and gold beads in here. More silver beads. Some of them have letters on them. Like um, alphabet. Take your time, camera. We have all day. These are I think they're just all black, but there's some sort of stone or glass or something. I can't tell if they're... I think some are glass and a couple might be stone beads. Then there's these, which are some sort of... I don't know. They're like blue and white. I don't know. And then there's these, which are some... like a pretty brown color and I don't know what they are but they're kind of cool they're kind of cool more wood beads and a few black wood beads in here and then different color wood beads in there there's a couple of soccer ball beads bye Shazzy there is a couple of Um, soccer charms, like a cleat, a soccer ball, and a thing that says go, goal, or whatever, and they're like metal, like a thin metal charm. They can go with your soccer ball beads. And I can't get the bag open. <gasps> And then there are some gold big beads. And then there are these, which are, they've got some sort of like sparkly stuff on them. Oh, see it? Kind of cool. These are like the blue ones, except they're like pink and white. These are little like amber colored, orangey amber colored seed beads. Oh, these are letters. They're glass letters. I have Q, M, I, and M. So two M's, a Q, and an I. <laughs> Quimmy? If you had a U? Not even a word. More wood beads. These are shell beads. These are, these are uh, pom-poms, these aren't beads. Those are little blue pom-poms. These are black and silver. These are wood. Here's some more wood, different funky shapes. These are red, different types of red beads. 
Here is a giant shell that has an A carved into it. Here is some green kind of seed beads. Here is some tiny wood beads. These are like teeny tiny little wood beads. I think they're all wood beads. And lastly, there are some pink and a few purple beads in there. So, big old bag of beads. And whenever Janie's ready, we'll start. And when she'll be saying go from now on and stop and all that stuff, so bag of beads All right, I'm gonna move some stuff out of my way Guess what else I have a bag of? I have a bag of everybody's favorite thing coming up. I have a giant bag of buttons coming up. That's a hefty bag of buttons. 99.9% of those are all vintage too. There's a couple of non-vintage things. There's a couple of um, button parts in there too, like these little vintage things with the little button things on them. Barbara, you got it, Miss Barbara, for 15. Paper. So there is different wallpapers in here. Already cut off of the off of a couple different books. A blue metallic stripey, a white metallic stripey, another kind of metallic -y looking one, and there's that one. It's like a greenish color. Sounds like a orangey yellow color. There's that one. There's that one. This one has a texture to it. This one's got a, a rip in it. I didn't do it, it was like that, but you can use it for whatever. And 
me see. White, blue, and yellow stripes. This one's kind of got like a hat, like a thatched pattern in it, or whatever you call that. I don't know. That kind of pattern. Pink with a little green stripe going through it. Yellow. This one here, which has some metallic going through it. Like a marbled. It's got a little rip in it, too. White with blue and purple stripe. And here's like a purple stripe. Oh, come on. Do we have to go through this every time? The focusing, the focusing is bad. Here's this one. This one has some wavy lines in it. And some more stripes. Some more stripes. These are bigger pieces. More like stripes. More stripes. This looks like burlap. It's kind of a striped one. And this one here. Which I don't know what kind of pattern that is. More stripies. This is like a stripey with a a little bit of a crackle finish. This one's also got like a crackle finish on the stripey part. This one here. It's blue, metallic -y. It's white, two tone metallic -y. This one's like a cream color, like a white. It's like a buttercream color, kind of. Same with this one. Like a buttercream color. And then there's white with this kind of painted look. I mean, it looks like it's hand painted. I don't know how they did that, unless it is hand painted. I don't know, but you could actually see the strokes in it. And then there's this yellow one. More of that fleur de lis type of thing. Looks like it's hand painted. It might be. I don't know. Do they hand paint it or is it screen printed? Maybe. With I get. Yeah, I bet you that's like a screen print, isn't it? Probably. There's another one that's white. And this one that has like a khaki background. It's a pearly background. This one has like a gray kind of background. And then there's this one, which has all kinds of texture to it. So all of that wallpaper plus, I just blew all my papers around, plus, 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 I got some scrapbook paper scraps and full papers. So there's some scraps there, and some scraps, and some scraps. Red. There's that one. Plain blue cardstock. And then there's blue in that color. Hold up. This thing over here. Get it over here, fool. Okay. Then there's some frames in gray cardstock. There's some green. Another green. Green on one side, striped on the other. This is a blue cardstock. This is like a purple card, like a lavender cardstock. Blue cardstock, like a yellow cardstock, a brighter yellow. This one's all different color. Pokey dots, like a blue. Green with flowers, a pink. Looks like a rag roll kind of effect, like a splatter effect. The pink cardstock. Uh, like a seafoam car stock, uh, blue, teal, I should say. And this is blue card stock. This one's got like a crease in it, but, and then so does that one. And that one just has a thing cut out of it. Then I have full sheets of scrapbook paper. That one has hand prints. That one's green, yellow. Obviously, you could see the colors. This one, somebody stitched on it. It wasn't me, but somebody stitched on it. If I stitched on it, it would be all over the place. It wouldn't be that straight. 
a lavender piece. This one has, oh, there was, that one's supposed to go with the other pe pieces, soccer balls and rabbits. This one says Brothers Easter Bunny or Easter Eggs. This one's stitched again. More rabbits and green and green and stars and hearts and such. It's orange and purple striped, blue and pink, blue and pink. There's some angels, some green with hearts, some baseballs, some blue striped with diamonds on it. Here's another, the same one. Blue with flowers, blue plaid kind of looking thing. Here's another checkered pattern. Another blue checkered pattern. Some dots. Yellow. And like a khaki color. And another khaki color. Pan color. And there's this one, which is that on that side, that on that side. So we got swirls. This one says kangaroo and monkey and giraffe feet stripes stripes maroon and that on the other side football baseball basketball more soccer balls and pink and yellow so you get all the wallpaper and all the scrap of paper and we'll start it off at a dollar whenever you're ready miss janie back from her adventure of having no internet <laughs> Which I haven't read the chat on what was going on, but. It makes me so infuriated when my internet goes out. It's so annoying. It's one of the most annoying things. Because I don't watch TV, so, like, I leave the internet, you know, like, YouTube or something on in the background while I'm doing whatever. I mean, yeah, I can listen to music, but I listen to music on the internet, too. <laughs> so when my internet's out, it's like, okay, now what? Do I actually have to put the TV on? I have the TV on all the time, but it's out, it's on for the dogs. Miss Tina, you got it, Miss Tina. I'm gonna try to roll this up and stick it back in the box. This is easier to stick it that way. Tina got it. out of this box here so it would be easier for me to 
transport it since it wasn't going to fit in a bag. because it's got a lot of things with it here it's a fabric sample thing um, but it you can fold it in it like velcros and then opens obviously you can take all that off and use it as the fabric but there's pretty big size fabric in here um, and you get that it's really nice like has like a little bit of a green brown background with the orange, whatever these are, star thingies, flower thingies, this one's black with green and orange, this one's green and black with the orange, this one's yellowy with the blue, and it's like pretty big sizes, they won't fit on my table very well. Kind of reversible because that side has that but this side has this and it looks like you know perfectly usable same with this side it seems like it's all reversible all of it seems like you could do that you could choose which side you like better on all of the pieces like there's this side here and then there's this here it just depends on what you're looking for i guess blue and then it's more muted on that side and it doesn't look any different or feel any different. That's the weird thing. It looks perfectly normal on either side. But anyway, we're putting this up by itself. Uh, we'll start it off at a dollar whenever Jamie's ready. So yeah, you've got like the yellow with a little bit of blue and yellow background here. It's like the blue is even more muted. It's like a very much lighter and then the yellow is pretty much the same, but this is muted as well, the star thing. Weird. And then this, the blue. It's blue here, but it's the orangey color there, and there's no blue on that side. Weird. This one's got the green and black with the orange, and then here it's got the brown and tan with like a black. So I think it's meant to be reversible. Doesn't say, but I guarantee you it's meant to be reversible because colors wouldn't be completely different on one side or the other if it wasn't. Oh, it's because it's for window treatments and stuff. So you would see the other. I get it. Yeah. Window treatments and bed covers. Hmm. It's called Autumn. Well, no. One is called Elm, Elmwood. This one's called Elmwood. And which one? Oh, okay. One's called Elmwood. One's called Cypress. One called Sauterine. Autumn. Storm. I don't know. Which one's called F? And then it says coordinate rose color Elmwood Cypress. So I don't know. I don't get it. Either way. Either way. Lots of fun fabric. Teresa, you got it for seven. Sandy, you're right after the stop. Congrats, Miss Teresa. Who 
want some buttons. Well, first we'll do a giveaway. But then we're going to do a big old bag of buttons. Let's do a giveaway. You're gonna get this cute little book that says smile it's a cute little notebook and it was mine I, I like this is brand new it's not like something I got from the creative reuse that's used or anything and then this is some fabrics you can have that you can use for sewing and making your embellishments and such different shears and styles and fabrics there's what different whites you can dye them Cut them, sew them. So you get a book and some fabrics. I lost my doohickey. Oh, here it is. buttons. These are button covers, vintage button covers. There are some of those in here. And then that one's a completely full one. I wish they had a year on them. Oh, 1976. They do have a year on them. And then there's some bags with different buttons in them. You know, your standard little bags, O buttons. This one has a lot of different buttons in it. I love that red one. I have one like this myself. It's weird that that one's there. And then there's these. We're in this little thing. They're all teal and brown. And they're very vintage too. I didn't even open these, but I, I, know, they're, I know they're that vintage plastic when I see it. And then, these are not vintage. These are the only ones that probably are not vintage. They, those I had in a different thing, and I just threw them in here. But there is tons of buttons. There's like shell buttons. That one's pretty. There's all different kinds of buttons. Really big. There's a, there's a whole bunch of really big buttons in here, which are cool. This one's huge. Look at this one. This was on some lady's a big coat, probably. There's a card with a button on it. Oh, that's like a glass thing. But anyway, I'm going to pull all of them out. But there's bunches and bunches and bunches of buttons. It's a good two pounds of buttons. And there's a whole bag of these vintage white, or, well, cream colored buttons. These were interesting. There's a few of these in there. And there's coconut buttons. Coconuts. There's a really old pink button from some lady's dress, probably from a million years ago. A couple of these little fasteners in there. Hmm. Made in England. 
Book and Eye Makers to H.M. Queen Elizabeth, the Queen Mother. <laughs> anyway, we'll start these off at a dollar whenever Janie is ready. which it won't focus on. Okay, don't focus then, fool. Do not. Calico buttons, another wood button. Square button. There's a couple of these in there too. They were interesting. I don't see many square buttons. Look at these buttons. <laughs> buttons. Barbara got it. It's yours, Miss Barbara. You got a deal. Buttons, buttons. Who's got the buttons? Barbara's got the buttons. Buttons for Barbara. pretty fabric. Got this blue one. It's real soft. It's like, I don't know what, what is it? It says rayon, cotton, and 1% nylon. But super soft. And there's that. And there's that one. That one, and there's that pretty one, and that nice soft green looks like Cubert. Anybody remember the name? Cu the game Cubert. That one it has like a rivet in the middle. A linen fabric. There we go. Blue. This one's cotton and linen. I knew it felt like linen, but it was a little bit thicker. And there's that one. This is really pretty. Which one looks like clouds? This one? Yeah, it does. 
And there's this one. Whoops, wrong way. Do you? feel to it. almost feels quilted. There's that one. These are mostly like blue-greenish colors. This one's kind of wavy lines. All right, and that's it in there. We'll start this at a dollar whenever Jamie's ready. I'm gonna run to the potty, I'll be right back. Okay, alrighty, Miss Teresa, you got it, Miss Teresa. Congrats, Miss Teresa. You gonna sew me something? Sew me a quilt. I'd like to see somebody make a like a jacket like like take all the different fabrics and turn it into like a jacket or something that would be funny <laughs> a coat of many colors so you could do that I'm going to do, um, because when I was doing the, uh, the timer before, I couldn't do the discount things. So I'm going to do them after since, you know, because I had the thing set up to do the wheel and all that. So I'll do that for everybody after in the after stream. I'll do the wheel for each person that's in the Patreon and they can, because there's like little prizes on there to win. So we'll do that after since we didn't. I'll go through and do it for all the people. Um, since, cause I couldn't do all at once. Like it, it was too much confusing for me with the trying to keep an eye on the timer and, and this, that, and the other, it was too hard. I knew I couldn't do it with, with that. So I just figured, well, I'll do it later. Cause it's not a big deal. Um, all right. So we have, 
Where'd it go? Oh. You have another set of the um of so of the boho trims and stuff. So I've got boho trims. I'm trying to gather all the little tassel pieces up. I think this is all of them. So those these are the sari pieces that you can use to either sew together and make sari yarn or or use them as a tassel, which is what I usually do. I make tassels with them and put charms on it and make little fabric tassels with them. And as far as the pieces of trims, there is that. 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 things on it. There is this piece, red and black. I'll hold them up a little closer. I always forget to do that. My arms get tired holding things up to this camera because I gotta hold it so close in order for it to focus at all. like kind of like a, a tealy color and we've got the, the red pattern with that on the end pretty pretty oh I forgot one of the trims is this little embroidered one and Or scarf, I mean. You can do your fancy dance. So we'll start it off at a dollar whenever you're ready. jungle sorry yeah that would be yeah it's kind of like got like a jungly pattern I guess it kind of looks like it I'm not sure if that's what it's supposed to be but it kind of looks like it it's pretty though it's like tealy colored it's real pretty real pretty all kind of pretties also have one of these to uh, give away to uh, one of the people that buy something. Um, if you buy something in the auction, you'll be entered to win one of these. Ouch. 
my shoulder. Ugh. I'm going to add some more stuff to this, some more of the trim and fabric and such. Miss Amy, you got it, Miss Amy. Congrats, Miss Amy. Find my bag somewhere. Hmm. Oh, there they are. It's over here. Come hither. Congrats, Miss Amy. Okay, I have some Christmas. This is a this is a little bath set so you can give it as a gift it's got little bath um, bombs in there so all these stuff like there's like this is a bubble bath in in the Christmas tree back there there's like a bubble bath and this you can open up the thing and all those little candy canes are like bath fizzers or whatever bath confetti they turn into soap and then that's a bath fizzer if I had a bathtub, I would totally use it, but I don't. Well, I have a bathtub, but I can't fit in it. It's too, it's like a short, it's too short. And then, there is little Santa hats, like jester hats. Aren't they cute? There is three of those. So, you and your friends can dress up like a jester and wear a hat. There is a little reindeer, it's a metal candle, and it has, you stick a candle in there, it lights up pretty. There is this little thing here, it's a little tiny Rudolph coloring book, isn't it cute? I love it. Somebody colored that page, but that's the only page it's colored. That would be cute to put the papers in a Christmas journal. You know what I mean? Take them out and put them in a thing. And here's a thing to make a little angel ornament. There's all the doodads in there for that. Here is a cardinal. Somebody was doing that. It just needs to be finished with the green in the background, I think, and the little face, maybe? The rest of the face, I guess. I don't know. Maybe it's done. I don't know. There's these little tin angels, which are really cute. Or brass, I mean. They're brass. And 
real brass too. They look nice and vintage because they're a little tarnished, but they look good like that. A set of four of these cute little angels, which are adorable. Then there is a, I'm assuming a vintage lid. I used to make these. These are what I used to make is the jar lids, except the only, di it's an ornament. Somebody made it into an ornament. Um, what I used to do is for the cross stitch, I would cross stitch it. And then I would, instead of just leaving it flat, I would put a little bit of batting underneath of it. So it was like a little puffy. And that's what I would do is make cute little jar lid ornaments or jar lids, period. I have some, a couple of the lids I made downstairs somewhere. And then there's a cute little like hand towel that says deck the halls with some fuzz all over it with a little kitty cat. Kitty cat. You can use it as like a little bathroom towel, hand towel. Then there's a couple of ornaments. This one says something like a wish for your wedding, but I figured you could easily paint over that and make it into something ornament for your tree and then here's an ornament that needs to be painted and then lastly I have these retro ornaments which are really cute and they're little like ceramic pine cones with little woodland animals in them and they're just really cute he's got little wooden chipmunk dudes in that one this one has little cardinals and a little presents in there and stuff. Isn't that cute? And this one has a little bunny rabbit. And this one has little raccoons. These are so cute. I almost kept these, but then I'm like, Ugh, I can't keep any more things. <laughs> They're so cute. And then there's four more of the same in here, but these are wrapped up which I'll wrap I'll be wrapping those in bubble wrap as well and putting them in the box but exactly the same all four of them are in there cute I don't know when these are from but they're definitely probably from the 70s I'd say at least they have to be so anyway we'll start the bidding at a dollar whenever Janie's ready Hi, Gail. Yeah, the angels are really cute. These I had for quite a while and um, wasn't going to give them up. And then I figured, well, I'll never really be able to display them or anything. I used to collect angels. So, and I still have like tons and tons but it's not like I'm ever going to be able to display them or anything. So, so I just have to get rid of some things. This was mine and the angels were mine. The rest came from the creative reuse. But this was a gift a couple years ago from a client that I had who gave that to me along with some other stuff for Christmas. But I never used it because I didn't have a bathtub. I just figured whatever.
All right, next up I have some uh, vinyl sample book to use for whatever, make crafts, make ATCs, make, sew them together and make a coat. Coat of many colors, <laughs> coat of many vinyls. And then these are ATC size. We went over this before. They're perfect for ATCs because I had another book like this that I had put in the auction and I measured these and they're they're like four inches by two and a half or something like that. So they're plenty big enough to make little ATCs out of because they're two and a half by, yeah, four inches. So there's a bunch of pages of those in different colors and styles and stuff and such. And all you gotta do is heat heat it on the back and it'll peel off because it's just, or you can just take it off. It's just adhered on there. Paper book we don't need. And they all have like different textures and such. It's like a snake skin. There's a couple missing on this, some of them. That one's cool. The blue metallic. A couple missing there. Oh, there's plenty to play with. Plenty to play with. Anyway, we'll start it at a dollar. Fun times. Now, what the heck happened to the rest of my papers? There they are. Losing my papers. Now I'm cold. I was hot earlier. Now I'm cold. Let me go adjust the heat and uh, check on the girls real quick. I'll be right back. Okay, Whew. I had to bring some stuff in here too. Terry, you got it, Miss Terry. Congrats, Miss Terry. Okay, so we've got. 
go. I've got some things. If anybody was ever wanting to be to do, I don't know if somebody already does it or if you always wanted to try doing candle making. Um, this is brand new. Like um, these are two-part jars. Obviously, you could take the candle votive out of the top. And you could put like potpourri or whatever fillers in there and then the votives on top you can fill with wax or just put a candle in it this is a candle pouring pot it's okay that it has wax in it all you gotta do is you put it on the stove in a, in a pot of water in a pot of boiling water and it'll all melt down you can pour it out somebody just left it in there because they were probably intending on melting it down but you can just melt it down pour it out if you want there's a mold here for a candle um it has clips on the side and on the bottom just to get it off because i don't have a thing to do it with and then you would have like a textured candle mold a couple more of these and a gigantic bag of candle wax starter the flakes you just throw it into this pot in a, some boiling water and then just get yourself some wicks which are cheap many craft store has the wicks and you can start and make candles in anything make candles in this whatever or just add some dye and color it however you want, add fragrance, whatever. So it's a whole set to get you started to play with some wax. All right, Jeannie, thanks. So whenever you're ready, Jeannie, we'll start this off at a dollar. out of that. <laughs> I could separate these and then just make that a candle, make this part a candle separately. Candle magic. Create a candelarium. Oh, that's cute. You could put like Santa Claus in there and buttons and Potpourri. I remember those from years ago. You can be a professional candle maker. Candles, candles everywhere. Nobody likes to do candles. <laughs> I used to love to do candles. I only did simple candles, but it was fun to make. They were easy as hell. I used to save all my old, um, like, votives and little candle holders, and I would just pour new wax in them and put a new wick in it and have a million candles. I don't do it anymore. I haven't done that since I lived in New Jersey, but I used to like doing that. I used to like making frag different fragrance candles. Good times, good times.
my email. Miss Barbara, you got it in right before the stop, and Teresa, yours is after. Miss Barbara got it. She gonna make some candles. She gonna make her some candles. She gonna be the candle lady. Well, you already know how to do that, don't you, Barbara? Miss Barbara, you know how to make candles, don't you? Oh, really? He makes fire starters. Those are... They use wax for that? Hmm. And soft hat. I mean soap. <laughs> Alright, then we got some fabric. This is a pretty pink and green and brown striped piece. Pretty, pretty. And there's a large piece of whatever this is, some sort of a sheer fabric. I'm not gonna open it up all the way, but it's a pretty big size piece because it's, it's one, two, three, four. It's, fold, it's four times what you see here, I believe. So it's, four times what you're seeing. So, it's a pretty big piece. It's like a pinky color. And then we've got this piece, which is a floral. Pretty floral fabric. A couple of fuzzies on it. It's like a pale yellow background. With this flowers, these orange flowers on it. And the bottom of it has some pieces. I guess they were, it was a fabric sample at some point. It's a big fabric sample, but it's got different little pieces at the bottom. I've never seen a fabric sample this damn big, if that's what it is. It's got, unless somebody did this. So I don't see why they would. I don't know. Oh, okay, Sandy. All right. So it's for these two pieces and this piece here, two larger pieces, and then this one, which is kind of big, but <clears throat> the smallest one out of all these. We'll start those at a dollar. Oops, I'm throwing my stuff around. I suck at folding. Yes. You'll get a separate shipping. You pay today for what you buy. <clears throat> and then I'll send you a separate shipping 
price when I get everything boxed up and ready to ship so that it's it, because I'll I do the shipping from home so I weigh it and ship it and I make sure that it's as cheap as I can get it and I got your email by the way <clears throat> all of a sudden my voice got all but I don't know why <clears throat> but yeah my email a few minutes ago I saw your email so you're all good Miss Charnel <clears throat> dang it yes yeah you pay for the shipping Because, I mean, it's an auction, so shipping can't be included. That would be silly because half the time the stuff that is being bid end up costing less than the shipping. So if I had to pay for the shipping, basically I'd be losing money at that point. <laughs> so yes, you pay for shipping. I wish shipping was free everywhere. It should be. <laughs> we pay taxes. Why can't our shipping be free? Joy, you got it. Shipping should be a free service that we get. Don't you think? At least in, in the U.S., in the rules. You read the rules, didn't you? You had to have if you sent me the email. <laughs> you just forgot. There's a lot in the rules. I get it. There's lots in there. Yeah, um, if you haven't sent me an email yet, Myra, um, I can send you the rules so you can see um, what to do because you have to send me an email with information. Hi, Jacqueline. It would be nice. It would be nice if a lot of things were free. I wish. We should make everything free. We pay taxes. We should get food for free. Hey, what about that? Food free. Every grocery store should be free. For just, even if it's just your basic food, like your meats and vegetables and like, you know, stuff like that, but like baking stuff and whatever, that, that can be, that can, we could pay for that. <laughs> can you imagine? If grocery stores were all free. Do another giveaway first. We'll do a giveaway. We'll do a giveaway. We'll do a giveaway. Giving away stuff. Lori Howell, you are getting these. This is a little mini advent calendar card. See, it's a card, but then there's little advent doodads all through it for Christmas time. For the Christmas times. That is for you, Miss Laurie.
Good lord. All right, so here we have a foam cutter. You can cut all kinds of foam, make all kinds of shape, make your own shapes for your crafts, you know. It shows you how to do it. Obviously, you don't have to make something as ridiculously complicated as that, but, you know, you can make all your foam shapes to make, like, anything that you're making with using foam. It has everything with it, and it looks pretty new. It's got extra doodaddies. Um... And it plugs in obviously and then this thing comes up and goes on the other side and you plug it in like that and then you know presto whammo is that how you do it yeah and then you your your string goes here the ones in the bag here you hook one on here and you hook one under there did i not here Let's see if I can get it out. There we go. You hook it under here. Or under here, sorry. Under there. And pull it up through there. And hook it up there. And then it gets hot and it cuts through styrofoam. So that you can make goodies with styrofoam. easy to figure out you just plug it in and that, that wire gets hot enough to just you just push the foam through and you just make whatever shape you want with it because you just you know just instead of cutting foam it, it that cuts it for you basically it just heats up enough to melt through the foam or the star yeah you know, styrofoam or whatever it is that we're using all right we'll start this off at a dollar a little better because You have a cricket and you haven't even plugged it in yet? You can cut through fun foam or even felt. you some foam. Miss Lori, you got it with 18. You got it, Miss Lori. Congrats. Just a 
first thing you got, Lori? something else. Oh, it's because of the giveaway. That's why I thought you got something else. Duh. Duh. Oh, you know what I have here? I have something cool. Color your tarot, ta tarot cards. Color your own tarot cards. A couple of them are colored, but the rest are not. And see, like that one. That one's done poorly, but done. But not on the other side. Look, you can color all your own tarot cards. Isn't that cool? There's that one's done. But if done with pencil, you probably erase it. That one's done with marker, but you can use these would be cool to use in a journal to color all these little things or just put them in like a cool little like boho journal or something or the gypsy journal boho gypsy same thing not the same thing but whatever these would be really cute to put in a journal like a boho journal she naked so there's a bunch of cards obviously couple of them are done. Like I said, maybe like five, four of them, five of them. Now these I've had for a while and I forgot I even had them. But yeah, here's the other one that's done. Some kid must have gotten a hold of these and did that to it. But that side's pretty decent. That's, I don't know what they were doing. So those are the only ones that are done are these four. Okay, four is it? Yeah, it looks like it's four of them. So, there's four. Done. But a whole stack left to do. The markers, I guess there used to be markers with it, but they're not there anymore. But they probably weren't that great anyway us being crafters we typically have better things but there's all different things about you know obviously it talks about so you can actually use the cards if you wanted to or there's ideas for coloring them and such so we'll start this off at a jala Yeah, but I mean, you have other things going anyway, don't you, Amy? So it's not going to... Yeah, oh yeah, I see what you mean. Put it all together. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can fit it all in with... If that. If this is all you get with the with the boho kit, I can put it all in, the, um, in a flat rate envelope. Yeah, I could ship it without the box. It's no big deal. Either or. It's up to you.
know, it came with colored pencils. Oh, I thought it came with markers. Miss Amy, you got it. I'll mark it on there to take the box, take it out of the box. a couple of pieces of fabric that are on the bigger side. There's this one which is double what you see here because it's folded like lengthwise so it's double the width and it's already that big about two yards or so and it's like this real pretty teal it's kind of a sheer it's sheer in spots like I don't know if you can tell it's like that thinner it's thin in spots like that's that style I guess I had a shirt that was made out of stuff like that once all right so that one if I can fold the damn thing This one, another thread, get off. This one's pretty big too. It's like like a sea foam, greeny tealy color with pink flowers, pink and purple flowers. And this one again is folded over for quite a few times. Let's see if I can undo it. A little bit anyway, I don't know if I can. There we go. All right, so that's, it's still folded over one, two, three, four times. So it's four times what you see here. It's a pretty damn big piece. Probably like a twin bed size, kind of, I would say. All right, we'll start this off at a dollar for both of these. Two big old pieces. Does it count if your house is a box? <laughs> okay. Everything's a box as long as it's got four walls, right? Actually, my house has five walls, <laughs> or six. Was it six? Because it's a pentagon shape. Five walls, yeah. Let me go grab a drink. I'll be right back.
Okay, I have to go grab my drink. Oh, Miss Sandy, you got it. Filling up my Sprite, but oh, don't fill it up too much. Sandy got it. I've got some color pencils, color pencil, color pencil, um, you know, how to color with color pencils and shading and all that stuff. It's to learn you how. It'll learn you how to do it. A lot of good pictures in here. Pencil techniques. Ooh, got a paper in there. Mm. Mm. Some bill or something. So there's three colored pencil books, and then there is two pads, drawing and writing, and this one's a paint pad, but you can draw on it. It's got nice paper, actually, I think, for a kids. It says kids on it, but it's actually a decent paper. Um, so anyway, we'll start these at a dollar. Whenever Janie wants to start it, she's in charge. Well, there you go, Gail. This is a good package for you then. You got just you just got done decorating and flowering for your best friend's wedding, and now that it is all over, I'm sick in bed with a fever. Oh, I'm sorry you don't feel good. Did you get paid for doing that, or did you, were you just doing that to be nice? Hi, Carla.
Karen. You got it, Miss Karen. Tape. The blue tape disappeared. Who took it? Karen took it. She took my blue tape. Give it back. And how did it go? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know where it went. So I don't want to use the regular tape on there. I want something that'll peel off. I'll use washi tape then, I guess. Weird. Just sitting here the whole damn time. Probably fell into one of the bags I packed up. Oh, this is that crazy washi tape that sucks. Alright. Alright. Alright, alright, alright. Check the toilet. Why would it be in the toilet? Alright, I have a few pieces of fabric in here. Um, I'm doing these separate because these are really, really nice pieces of fabric. Like, look, this one's really nice. It's just a nice, a very pretty piece of fabric. And then there's this one, which is, again, another really nice pattern. Really nice fabric on that one. And this one it's pretty this is a sample and it's got this paper thing on here which i can rip it take it off but and then there is another really pretty one here but this one's probably my favorite is that one and then this one kind of matches it because it's the same colors and then there is this one which i love which is a really pretty paisley blue and tan kind of paisley pattern. These are real pretty. And then there is this one which is really pretty. It's got these like shiny bits. Shiny bits. And then this one. It's got fuzzy on it or something on it. mark on it there but right there I thought it was a fuzzy but it's not I keep thinking it is a fuzzy but it's not moving that's really cool <laughs> anyway so all of these and we'll start them up at a dollar these pretty ones these were some of my favorites these these were all out of my stash because as I get other I, I don't allow myself <laughs> I, well, I, I've accumulated a lot but, of fabric, but I, I have to get rid of some if I, if I keep others, you know what I mean? <laughs> because it gets to be a little much. Especially for somebody who doesn't really sew very much. I'm mostly going to do like journals and stuff with the fabric I have. Maybe a few other art pieces and stuff like that, but I, I can't keep every damn piece of fabric. And I really like this one though, it's so pretty. This one and this one's really pretty. I wanted to make a journal with this. I can make a couple of them. That's, that would have been just really pretty as a journal cover, like that piece. Obviously, I've shortened it, but that would have been pretty. Pretty. Purdy, 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 purdy. And these two would have been pretty. Or journals or something. Anything. Pillow. Like a little pillow. I 
Where's the bag? Oh, in my lap. No. Monique, you got it. I have some, these are business cards that you could put in your printer and make. Um, there's some here, or you can use them as journal cards or something when you're doing journals or whatever. There's these little fall leaves and stuff. There's a bunch of those. And each page has like five, uh, 10 business cards. And then there's some of this paper here. And then there's more business cards in this like blue marbled look and these are all they're perforated you can break them apart and then here's another one that's these are business cards as well so there's those plus there is These are um, scrapbook, like they call it fast formulas, I guess. And it's for, you know, making different layouts. It kind of teaches you different layouts and gives you templates, I guess, to, to do different scrapbooks and stuff. So there's that one. There's this one, which is another one that has different templates in it. So if you do scrapbooking or know somebody who does scrapbooking. And then this is, is this the same one? No, it's different. It's another fast formula, but it's a different one. So there's those. And then there is, oh, there's this one too. I forgot there was another one in here. So fast formulas. And then look at that. And then there is a cookbook, a Betty Crocker cookbook. Really nice pictures in it. They did like a baking or cooking journal or something. Or whatever you want to do with it. So there's business cards, these formula things, and that. And we'll start that at a dollar. I figure somebody can snag this for a dollar or two and have some fun with it. Tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. I've been up since 8.30 this morning. 
because I went to bed last night at like, I don't know, 11.30 or something. Yeah, that's true. I guess they would make a nice little mixed media mashup deck of cards. <laughs> that's a good idea. You can just write the prompts on each one. Or print them out and tape them on or glue them on. Yeah, that's a good idea. making me hungry. Mmm, I love bow tie pasta. Is this mostly seafood? Oh no, it's not. Turkey. Chicken. Mmm, pork chops, my favorite. I love pork chops. Oh, Miss Teresa, you won. Tape it up, tape it up, tape it up. This next thing is weird. These were mine, and I, I, when I was cleaning out the closet, I decided I didn't want them. I think I might have worn maybe one or two of them, like twice. I went, on, I don't know, I was on this kick where I liked these little, a long time ago, uh, like when I was, I don't even know. These cute little headbands. Um, you can, if you like, if you're somebody that likes headbands, otherwise you can take the fabric off of them. You would you know, wear it like a headband and then you would put this behind and tie it behind your, under your hair. Do you know what I mean? And it would hang. It's really cute. Um, I have a bunch of different colors and stuff. I have like a couple different animal prints and whatever. And then I've got pink and I've got, oh, and I've got this headband, which I never even worn once. So that one's brand new. <laughs> it's really pretty though. And then I've got this one, which is really pretty, um, which is a little dusty. There we go. It's sitting on my, these have been sitting on my, um, on the bar to my closet for like three years. But there's that one. And then there is, there is this one, which the fabric, either I started pulling the fabric off at one time, I might it might have been me. So the fabric's coming off on the headband. Um, you can either glue it back on or just use the fabric. I think that was my intention. I was trying to see how much fabric was here. And it's sewn into like a tube, so if you were to take the stitches out of this side, it would be double what you see here. So it's actually a pretty big piece of fabric on, I think, most all of these, except for, I think, this one, which is kind of a single piece. But all of these are doubled. But anyway... If you like headbands, you might like just wearing it. And then there's this one with the little bow on it. And I thought, well, I'll stick it in one of my auctions. Somebody might want to grab it for a dollar or two and have a bunch of them. And then there is one of my favorite ones, which was this one. Which I can't 
to get this thread to get leave me alone. It's been attached to me since before. So there's like this little boho-y one. It's a pretty fabric. And then there's a, a red kind of sheer fabric. Hi, Sabrina. And then there is this one, which has like a retro-y fabric. And then there is this, which is a pin flower thing. There's a couple of hair clips. I wear hair clips every day, but not these kind. I, I never liked these kind very much. So you could turn them into something. Put flowers in them and whatever. And then there's two blank headbands that you can decorate. That's what these kind are for, like to decorate and do something with. But anyway, we'll start this off at a dollar. Snag you some headbands. Headbands never looked right on me. I've had them forever in a day, but I've never looked that, I don't know, I never could get them to look cute like some girls can. I don't look good in hats. It's just my, it's, I think it's my face shape or something. I don't look good in hats either. I could never wear hats like other people could. They always look silly on me. But if nothing else, the fabric's kind of cute to play with. Yeah, I didn't have a problem with them sliding off my head. I just had a problem with the fact that I have a weird shaped head and a very big head, too. <laughs> but I got them, um, I don't remember where I got them, but I got, I think I got most all of them at the same time. Um, I can't remember. And it was at some place, I don't know, and they were on sale and... The lady that was there, she was wearing one and it looked so cute. And I liked the little fabric that was tied like and it was coming down the side of her, you know. And it just looked cute and I wanted it. And I got a bunch of them and she gave me like a deal on a bunch of them. So I got a bunch and I wore like two of them on like two occasions or something. And then I just never wore them again. I don't know. Teresa. I grab a piece thinking I'm grabbing one I'm grabbing all of them another book but this one is of different um grass cloth I guess I call it they're different textury thingies and so these are really cool they're made out of some sort of I guess natural something or other I don't know what they're made out of but but anyway, there's a bunch of them, different styles. So you can do all kinds of things with these. I 
they're like wallpaper basically, but they're like a natural wallpaper thread. People used to cover their walls with stuff like this. I mean, they probably still do. Some of them have like a metallic behind them. This one has a little bit of sparkle to it. So does this one. And this one. And this has sparkle too. And this one does too. And this one, do, well, they all have sparkle? I don't think so. No, this one doesn't. This one doesn't. This is cool. I have some of this stuff myself. Um, it's fun for making patterns too, like stamping in the paint or making a cool like journal cover. That would be cool. Cool. And let's see. Paint. That one's got the metallic behind it. Start this off at a dollar. The thing is kind of cool too. You can make this into a book. It's got cool corners on it and everything. Kind of groovy. Fuzzies. Kind of groovy. blinds that are made out of stuff like that in my right here in this room two of my windows have like that type of a stuff I don't know what it's called though on the blinds that are like that weird stuff they were here when we moved in and I just kept them because they kept the light out really nice Tiffany, you got it, Tiffany. Congrats, Miss Tiffany. Oh, I might help her put your name on it. It might just help. Maybe kind of. Ouch. I banged my knee. All right. Now we've got a remnant piece. A fabric which is really pretty actually and it's got a piece cut out of it but it's still pretty nonetheless 
And there's this like pinky piece. And there is this piece here. And this piece here. Cool looking piece. It's like very interesting, this piece. I like the way it feels. It's very, I don't know. It's different. It's weird. There's this piece. And then there's... Alright, thank you, Sandy. There's this piece here with the big flower. You going to bed, Sandy? Have a good night. Hi, Marion. Yeah, I'm feeling fine. Why? Why you ask? This one's like watercolory. Watercolor. The color of water. And there's that one. Actually, it goes. Does it go that way or that way? I don't guess it could go either. I think it goes this way, though. If I had to guess. One of those deceiving fabrics. I sound tired? No, I'm not tired. My voice is worn out, but I'm not tired. I slept enough. I slept like 10 hours last night. That weird long piece. A longer piece. And then we have a Disa piece. Actually, I think it goes that way. Whichever way it goes. Whichever way it wants to go. This one with the red and fuzzies on it. And the staple. And then there is this piece. Really pretty. Pretty, pretty. Thick and luxurious. That's what it is. Luxurious. <laughs> and then there's that piece. And that's it. All the pretty fabrics. Whenever Janie's ready, we'll start it with a dollar. One dollar. One dollar, one dollar. Get your fabric, one dollar. One dollar, two dollar, five dollar, ten dollar, twelve dollar, nine dollar, zero dollar. Go? No. Okay, go. <laughs> Make up your mind, Janie. <laughs> Just playing red light, green light.
All right. Dummy. The bottom piece is bigger. The back of Bingo. Oh, there it is. Larches. Karen, you got it at eight dollars. Congrats. Things. It is a really pretty book. And I have taken this thing off the one side because I wanted to feel it because it's velvety. Um, and then I couldn't get it back on the damn thing. Oh, maybe I can now. There we go. I got it back on. It has a plastic cover. But it's, it's a photo album. But <clears throat> you could easily take this plastic off and use it as like a journal or a scrapbook or something. Or you can use it to, you know, as a photo album. It's really pretty. It's got a lot of pages. And you can make a nice photo album. It's brand new and pretty. Very pretty. Then there is this thing here. Let me open this. It's easy to see. Nobody cares about that. This is from um, 2014. But... It's got a cute little calendar. You can you can use it or throw it away. And it's got a little notebook. But if you were to take out the things, this is leather and would be a really cute journal cover or a little mini folio and just cover that up with a little something. But this is a really nice leather in here. And it would be cute. You can use this as a little collage book or just do whatever with it. It's got some mark on it or something. It'll probably come right off with a baby wipe or something. Um, or you could put another notebook in here. Like make a notebook and size it in here. And put something on the front to cover it. And then keep this little notebook in here. I just think it's cute because it's leather and... And use it for all kinds of things. You can make a little elastic thing to go around it. Be cute. All right, and then there is member drill book. This is some sort of like um I don't know. It's something, but it has like different things in it to do. Um, like it'll have on some of the pages, it'll say like, to, I don't know, like do something, build a fish using all the parts, draw the nuclear reactor upstream where the accident occurred. Oh, is this for like a nuclear? I don't know. I don't know, but it's interesting. It's got different pages. Like this one's like a dot page and it says on it, connect the dots. <laughs> There's like little weird activities in here. Somebody did something on this page. So. That's page the only one that I know that know of that has anything on it really, but it has like different things in it. I just thought it was interesting. The paper's real nice on it, so use that for something. This one here is quick cut ideas, and this one has different um, things for scrapbooking, I guess.
And then this is um, a brand new scrapbook activity book, which is really cute, which I had, this I had for a long time, um, because I wanted it and was, thought I was going to use it, but didn't. It has these cute little stickers in the front, more stickers, more stickers, and letters, and even these are stickers, or pop-outs, or, yeah, they're like uh, die cuts, that's it. This is, this is all die cut, all that's die cut. And then it says here, and, and it you know, you write stuff about yourself, and it has all this really pretty paper in it. Really cute. And you can like use it as a art journal, scrapbook, something. But it's really cute. I just never used it when I was cleaning out my closet. I'm like, all right, well, time to get rid of that if I'm never gonna use it. So all of these, and we'll start that off at a dollar. Yeah, I like using these photo albums. I had one once that I used for um, a journal book, like a thing, because you can easily take this off. And then you have this paper. But yeah, you can use it for an ATC holder, or you can make postcards, mixed media, whatever. You can make whatever you want, too. The sky's the limit. tool that goes with this. I've never heard of this. Huh. Oh, it like die cuts? Weird. Have you ever heard of this, Janie? Or Barbara? This weird ass thing? It has these plates. It's like a punch, but I want one of these. I wonder how well they work. That's pretty cool. Charnel. <laughs> Did you put four three times? <laughs> Five times, six times. Uh, Jeannie, you got it, Jeannie. That's weird. Interesting. Yeah, it's weird. It's interesting. I'm assuming it doesn't work that well. Otherwise, it would still be around, I would think. <laughs> Jeannie got it for a nine. Nope. Sorry, six. already there no that's not it either hmm. oh wait oh there it is i found it it's 
can't say. I thought I already wrote it up. Herder. All right, we got a fabric sample book, and after this we will do a giveaway. And this one is, got some really pretty patterns and colors in it. It's very colorful and beautiful. Lot of teal, pretty colors and blues. Start the bidding at a dollar. Did you try refreshing, Charnel? You got to refresh every now and again. Hit the refresh button if you're on a computer so that it will refresh the page. I have to run to the potty. I'll be right back. Okay, goodness gracious, Tigger's a pain in my butt. Someone is bugging me. Someone is trying to get me to go somewhere with him and take him places <laughs> and all that stuff. All right, Miss Karen, you got it. Miss Karen. 
I have a bag of doodads. All right. Okay, so. There's a rocking horse cookie cutter. Don't know why. This is, if you have a Keurig, the pods, you can reuse the pods because you could put these lids on top. So you could put some coffee, refill the pod with coffee and put these lids on top of it. So if you just save the pods, you see what I mean? It, you put it on top of the already used plastic part, you take the foil off, and then you fill it with coffee and you put these on. So that's what they're for. This is just a piece of canvas. It's in this weird bag. Oh yeah, that's right. This is a piece of canvas somebody was sewing beads on. So they didn't finish it, but it's got a pin in it right here. So that's why it's connected. It's only connected because of the pin. You take the pin out, but. Um. Oh, this is a little kit to make a little angel. You do it with like the cotton and the material and the thing and everything. A hole punch. Just a regular hole punch. It's like magic. A slide viewer. If you have slides, you can pop them in there and hold it up to the light because it the light shows through or something. Or just hold it under a light and you could see the slide because it's magnified. I was going to say magnetized. <laughs> Magnified. A Rolodex. So you could do little artworks on your pages of your Rolodex. These have them in plastic sleeves. This one's fancy. It's got plastic sleeves. Oh, it could be. Um, where's the other part? Oh, okay. And there is a couple of flowers. There is some leather cord tied up. There is this little box. It's like a little dish. You could put your jewelry in it or something. It's like patina on purpose. A Christmas cross stitch candle. And some thank you cards. And some pink burlap, which has strings on it coming off of it. Some pink burlap for your burlapping pleasures. <laughs> no, it's not a soap dish. It's definitely not a soap dish. It's definitely like a jewelry dish or something. Somebody was selling it for ten dollars. Mm, why they would think they can get ten dollars for it is beyond me. But no, it's not a soap dish. It's definitely like a little trinket dish, change dish, trinket dish, whatever. All right, we'll start it off at a dollar whenever Janie's ready. And I'm gonna let you know who O-U-T. So I'll be right back.
sorry. Tigger had to poop. <laughs> Takes longer than I want him to. Renee, you got it, Miss Renee. Hi, Renee, by the way. I saw you were here before, but I think I was in the middle of something. And I didn't get a chance to say hello. If you're leaving and you're done bidding, please make sure you make your payment via PayPal, pinkpoodlecrafts at gmail.com before you leave and go to bed or whatever you're doing so that it does not get forgotten, please. Okay, so I have a bunch of seam binding and lacy stuff. Oh, dang it, take her. All right, hold on, I forgot. Sorry, bud. Come on, go in your nightie, I'll get it. Go ahead, go in your nightie. <gasps> Mama forgot, you were my food. Okay, okay. He's like, Mama, I want my food, I want my food, I want my food, I want my food. Give me food, give me food, give me food, because he's just so starving. He's so deprived of food. <laughs> brat spoiled brat there's some organza ribbon in this like chocolate brown color and then there's some this like silver ribbon good for christmas there is some little pink lace pink trim there's these cord pieces and this one too don't know there's some white bias tape and there's another ribbon or some sort of fabric-y stuff there. And here's a wide piece of whatever that stuff is in blue. Here is some off-colored, off-white colored lace. This stuff, whatever this stuff is called, the wide stuff, it's like the blanket stuff or whatever. It's like a wide ribbon in red. And this is called piping. It's like a piping of some sort. Ooh velvet ribbon velvet red ribbon black bias tape red seam binding stuff blue lace like a like a greeny gray lace seam binding in like a, a, a gray gray lace off-white lace some of that stuff um, purple seam binding bias tape stuff, blue bias tape stuff, white trim stuff, red ribbon, blue bias tape, black seam binding or bias tape or trim or something, white ribbon. Tigger, I gave you food, now go away. White bias tape, red lace, gray green lace again some brown seam binding ribbon stuff blue bias tape or no blue i don't know trim of some sort oh my god something in my eye i got something in my eye get it out <sighs> whatever that is that blanket stuff and here's a like a satin ribbon satin ribbon is great for making flowers a little piece of that netting stuff i call everything that stuff some more satiny ribbon stuff, some maroon lace, black bias tape, blue blanket ribbon stuff, and teal, really pretty teal uh, uh, lace, and a blue lace, and another blue lace, and a white trimmy stuff, and a blue, uh, sorry, no, whatever it's called, some red lace, some blue organza ribbon, some blue bias tape, some pink bias tape, some blanket binding, that's it. This is like a satin blank binding. 
blanket binding blah, blah, blah. <laughs> trim lace blue lace black something or other black lace black trimmy stuff red seam binding red ribbony stuff blue lace off-white lace navy blue trim and seam binding and this might be blanket bias stuff or silk ribbon one of the two looks the same it's like a sea foam really pretty like a black trimmy stuff red black trimmy stuff red ribbon or bias tape sorry i don't know what the hell it's called black seam binding and white ribbon and red it's not elastic it's just a, like a little ribbon thing anyway that's everything we'll start it at a dollar whenever Janie's ready It's a race. It's a race. Sorry, I didn't mean to chat during the bidding. God, she's such a bitch. I'm eating a snack. This is all vintage, by the way. snack and I'm not sharing it so go away Tigger you already had yours you can't have a snack She says, oops, but still hit send. <laughs> that was a deliberate oops if you still hit send, knowing that it was, <laughs> you weren't supposed to chat <laughs> in the bidding. Either you're really drunk. <laughs> or tired or something. Would you go away? What do you want from my life? Mm hmm? You're cute, but you can't be over here. Yeah, you can't be stepping on everybody's stuff, buddy. He's like, I see. yes, I can. I sure can. Watch me. He's like, watch me. Stone, quit chatting. <laughs> Tammy, you get it, Miss Tammy. Tammy, Tammy. Get over here. Get over here. Get over, get over here. Get in there. Get in there. Get in there. Get in, 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 get in. Oh, get in, fool. me. Stop stalking me. Tigger, stop stalking me. Stop stalking me. He's stalking me. I'm gonna call the cops and tell them you're stalking me.
What about that? <laughs> oh, I got a bag, a bag, a bag, a bag, a I got a bag. Yes. Everything will be after. This has stuff on it. Well, now. This was taken off something. Get off me. Okay, so there's this cool piece of fabric, but it was taken off of something because it's got stuff on the back of it. But this would make a really cool pillow or something. But there's like a long piece here to it. It might have been like a chair or an ottoman. What a, yeah, it had to have been a chair because look, it's got the little, you can't see, uh, excuse me, uh, hiccuping, little round things where the tack wa tacks were. Somebody had this on some sort of chair. Had to have been like a new chair because the, the piece of fabric is like brand new. So either they tested it out, maybe they didn't like it, but it's got this stuff, you know, the padding from the stuff. It just peels off. It's just, they just were too lazy to peel it off. So it's just stuck on the fabric. Um, so anyway. It was on something, but it's not worn at all, so it had to have been new something or other. Or maybe, I don't know. I don't know. They did something with it. Who knows? They were tried it, and they didn't like it. Then there's this piece, which is really pretty without the string. Pretty. And this piece is really soft. Soft. Velvety. Another piece with stripes. It's also soft and velvety that goes with it. And there's this one which is soft and velvety as well. This one is soft and velvety. It's green with like purple. Even though it looks like it's oh there's purple and brown. I lied. It's not just purple. And there's this green soft one. And then there's this orange and red one that's soft, or yellow and red, whatever color that is. And there's this one that's soft. It's got green and, and like an off-white and gray and stuff. Then there is this one, which is really pretty and really soft. This would be cute like on a table, honestly, like a coffee table. You had like a coffee table that you needed like a little something on it because it's finished all the way around so that would look really cute i should have thought of that for my damn coffee table because <laughs> it would have went too mm -hmm. and then there's this piece which is soft and velvety it's like that kind of like that wrinkle velvet look whatever it's called is that called crushed velvet when it has that wrinkled pattern not this that's a crease but i mean the little the purposeful little creases. What's it called? No, this doesn't tell you. I don't know what, if that's crushed velvet or not. If, that, if that's what it means. There we go. And there's a really pretty one with green and yellow flowers. And it's Harlequin. You. Harlequin. And there's this one with fluffy on it. And there's this one. And there's this one. And there's that one. And then there's another one that's velvety. Ah, soft. Lime green. Another lime greenies. And then there's another one that's soft. Got a fuzzy on it. A little bit of a darker lime green than that one. On the, on the screen it looks like it's a, a weird color. It's actually just a slightly darker than that one. It's very similar though. And there's this one. And there's this one, which is soft too. And there is... That's the wrong side. It's just this side. This one's not soft, but it's pretty. And then we've got 
got a couple more soft ones. We've got this pink, brown, and green one. This purple and green one. And eh, get over here. This one here is really nice. It's soft. And this one is not that soft, but it's pretty. And that one is kind of soft. This one has a little bit of that velvet feel to it. And here's another green velvety one. A lot of velvety ones in here. This one's not velvety. It's just green. And then the last one is velvety. And it is this color. So a lot of greens and yellows. Um, and a lot of velvet, velvet material. So we'll start this off at a dollar whenever you're ready. Do it. Lots of fabric. Nina likes green. Somebody's bugging me to tuck them in. He likes to be tucked in. And if I don't do it right the first time, he'll get back out and start bugging me to do it again. <laughs> and that's the truth, too. Because he is a picky MFer. And he thinks all I all I have to do all day is to tuck him in over and over and over again. And over and over and over. Don't you, bud? You sure as hell do. That's all I got to do all day long. Viscous. It's 100% viscous. What does that even mean? Viscous. 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 Barbara, you got it. Viscous. Viscous. It's a weird word. Reminds me of the word alopecia. Another weird word. come over and tuck his ass in. Are you talking to me, Barbara? A care box? What do you mean? A care heart box? Huh? Oh, you mean stuff from 
the other the other thing. Yeah, I have a couple things. Uh, not just one bag of things for you. Is that what you mean? Which I'll just put this with it. a giveaway real quick give it away give it away give it away now give it away give it away give it away now give it away give it away give it away now Did you not win already? Yeah, you think you did. I think you did. What did I do with my paper? Uh oh, I lost it. I lost my paper. Oh, for Pete's sakes. Where did it go? Under here? Did you got it? Yeah. I can't get to it. I don't know how it got under there. I have no idea. Yeah, you are. All right, next person. It picked me before Janie because when I was doing the when I was doing the timer, it picked me, and I'm like, huh? Congratulations, Terry. You are winning this little um, package that has some cute little green fabrics in it. Some MTV pins. And a little seahorse book. A little cute little notebook. That is for you, Miss Terry. Yeah, write it up here. Yeah, these are like vintage MTV pins. Okay. I want my MTV. Okay. I have this little, it's January through December of 2019. So. It's still good, but you can always use it and change the dates on it. It's really cute. It's got a pocket. It's got some hmm? Walmart grocery delivery. Okay. I don't think we need those. I don't think anybody cares. Well, they stuck that in there. But anyway, there's all your little journaling spots and things and whatnots and who's a what's it and it's got stickers two pages of stickers it's got a place to put your or it's a, it's a ruler but it's also a place and you can take it off too it unhooks and you can put like washi tape pieces on there or something and it's got tabs and yeah it's cute it's pretty and then there is this little book here which is it's got this little tab um and, oh, duh. It's a little notebook. There were some pages torn out of it, but it's got a lot of pages left in it. And it's cute. 
You can take all the pages out and make it into a journal of some sort. And then there is this, which I kept for a while because I, I really thought it was cute, but it's called Q&A a day, 365 questions, five years, 1,825 answers, the five year journal. So what you do is every day in this journal, it's thick, she's a thick one, and there has some, there is some writing in it, but it's not enough to like, not do. Anyway, it says, what is your mission? And you put whatever year, because obviously it's a five-year journal. So on January 1st, what is your mission? 2020, you would put your mission for this year, blah, blah, blah. January 2nd, can people change? And you put your answer. January 3rd, what are you reading right now? So, you know, over the course of the years, your answer will change. If you get to somebody who wrote in it, just white it out. Because there's only, like, they only wrote on the one line, I think, a couple of times, like here. So you can just take some white out and do it here too. Yeah, there's like a couple of pages they wrote on the first line. Interesting to read other people's though. I feel like I'm being nosy. And then there is two, um, what do you call it, diaries. This one has one page written in it. Or two, well, it's two pages, this page and this page. Cover them with a piece of scrap paper, rip them out, whatever. But it's got cute colored pages, red and blue. And I, it didn't have a lock, and they were locked when I got them, but I had a lock. I had a key from a, a thing I had a long time ago. So the key I taped to there, and it works for this one as well. So they, they both were locked, and I had to use my key, and they both opened. So there's two diaries. There's that one, and then there's this one, which was written in I think once, twice, I don't know. There. There you go. <laughs> but it's really pretty. So there's those. Is that it? Let me add these in too since these are kind of thing. Similar. This is a calendar, it's 2017, but it's got some cute pictures and stuff in it that you can cut out and use, or just use the paper as, I don't know, whatever you want. And then there is, oh, little soccer tacks. These are little thumb tacks, little soccer tacks. And then there is a Julie. And there's some really nice pictures. I've seen this display. Um, it, it's a planner, but it's got some writing in it. But the pictures are really pretty. Um, the They had the traveling exhibit that came to the TPAC. Um, uh, the, the Tennessee um, Performance Art Center, I couldn't think. Anyway, it's got a lot of cool pictures in it and stuff, and it's got a fault. Oh, let's see what this is. Mmm, somebody's homework. Oh, I go to Tennessee or Orthopedic Alliance as well. This is somebody's <laughs> to make an appointment. James was seen in office today. Work status and restrictions. Please excuse from work today for a doctor's appointment. Can return to work with restrictions. No lifting more than 40 pounds for two months. I guess he didn't need that anymore. <laughs> oh, and we've got something else here, too. Employee schedule. He worked at PetSmart. Well, James don't work at PetSmart no more, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Anywho. And then, lastly, I have a couple of these, which are really cute. If you know a little boy in your life, or who, or even a little girl, I would have liked this when I was a kid. It makes a paper plane, and it shows you how to do it, and all the pieces are here in, like, a cardboard or chipboard little paper, whatever they are, and you can fly them. 
And you can like put a flight record. I don't want to move them around too much and pop out all the pieces, but there's two of them. There's this type of plane and then there's this type of plane. And here's it here. So it's cute. So we'll start these off at a dollar whenever you're ready, Jamie. Oh, is it Charnel? I haven't, no, I haven't seen that. Yeah, I'd like to, the last time, when we went there to go see that exhibit, the only sucky part was that um, the rest of the museum was, like, closed, except for, like, that exhibit, which sucks, because it was the first time we ever went there, and we couldn't even really see anything, and I was like, what the hell? What's the point of that? Chanel, you won, Chanel. You're the winner on the Price is Right. Most likely. Hmm. All right. I got some more fabric. I got this big piece of pink with gray striped, and it's like a thin kind of nice little thin fabric for whatever I can't it's kind of like maybe like t-shirt fabric in a sense sort of not a, well not not really because it's not yeah I guess it is kind of I don't know and it's folded over like a million times so it's a pretty big piece it's folded over like one two three four five six six times what you wait a minute seven Six times, right? No. How many was that? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight times what you see here. Sorry. It's eight times what you're seeing here. So it's a pretty big piece. 
piece of fabric. And then there is a couple of smaller pieces. There's this one, which is like the same material, very similar. And this one is also big, but not as big as that. Let's figure out how to open it. There we go. And this piece is folded over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight as well. So it's eight times this size. So it's a little bit smaller than the other one. And then there is some. Um, all right, get out of my way, fool. There is this white fabric here, which is like a remnant. Oh, there's a couple pieces. Something was cut out of it. Just a cotton fabric. Triangles. Another triangle as well or something. Yeah. pieces and then there is this piece here which is like a florally print and there's another white piece it looks like a the hell the hell was this somebody was this supposed to be a oh I see like a hood of a sweatshirt or t-shirt or something they, or at least they were trying to make that unless they were making something else with it and I just oh never mind it's a half of a pillowcase but they had it folded weird oh there you go well you can use the white fabric I like to paint on white fabric like this I paint on it do my mixed media mashup on it stuff like that make journal covers that are painted and then there is a couple pieces of Santa Claus fabric Oops, get up there and then I have some gray uh, like it's like a fleece it's like a fleecy stuff and it's a pretty big piece with some string on it you can make some fleecy pillows or whatever I got a bunch of fleece when I was there because I'm gonna make some cute little dog toys for the dogs like I'm gonna make their own Christmas presents for all the dogs this year so I got some cute fleecy fabrics to do that with because they love that stuff so there's that piece and I think there's another piece of fleecy stuff in here oh, two. here's like another piece I have some of this this is what I mean like I have some of this I'm gonna make dog toys out of it because all you need is little pieces like this and you can just make little circles and make little pillows on the sewing machine stuff it with some stuffing and pff, dogs love it you know I made I made Tigger um, a couple of toys he only has his heart left I make little hearts and little circles and little bone shapes and then all right we already did this one didn't we where's the black one hey get back here Where's the black piece? Oh, down here. Uh, I can't reach. It fell. Then there is a black piece that you can see really all the threads that are sitting on it from being in there with all the other fabric. But anyway, this piece is like, like that. I don't know. It's a decent size for whatever. All right, so we will put all this together and start it off at a dollar. Whenever Janie's ready. Ow. Are you back again, Bima? Are you still feeling yucky? Hi, Ray. What are you up to, Miss Ray? What do I do with the paper? Oh. Let me go 
grab a couple things I got left over here. over stuff. Crystal, you got it, Miss Crystal. Some nice fabrics coming up. And some fabric sample books as well. But right now, I have this thing which I don't know much about, but it is for drawing, I think. Rotoring? Rotoring? I don't know. But it has these little things, these, and you clip, clip your paper. <laughs> I can't even find a piece of paper. You know, big pieces of paper, obviously, in there, and it, you know, stays in there. And here's another one down here, and you can clip your paper in. It's for, like, doing bigger pieces, I guess, of things. And you can clip your paper in there, and then clip it down to the side here, so that it stays in place for you to draw, and you can, like, I don't know. But that's all I know about it. it seems like it could be handy for somebody who draws. And then also, I'm going to shove with it. Uh, hello. Go away. Good night, Gail. I have this, which is one of those. What do you call it? I guess it's one little mark there, but it's one of those things, the ribbon holders that you could put your keep, you know, pictures under and stuff. So you can put your, you know, pictures, little notes, like a little note board or whatever. So that and this thing, I just clocked myself, clocked myself with it. So we'll start these at a dollar and get both of them. This just needs to be cleaned up a little bit. It's got some, looks like pencil eraser. <laughs> stuff from erasing in here. It's dusty. But if you draw it might be handy. I don't know. Yeah, bulletin board. That's what this thing is. out in the living room put this on your lap and do your drawing coloring whatever the hell 
cutting because it's got a rulers on it and stuff. Rulers and such. Well, nothing more to see anyway right now. It's always going blurry. Humpy McJackass won't stop blurring up. Quit. It's because something light colored is down. Don't make me give you the middle finger, dumbass. Come on. Reel it in. Figure your stuff out. Figure it out. clean. Get it for a steal. Get it for a dollar. My trash is your treasure. You don't want it? Okay. Uh, well, now it's all clean and pretty. Hmm. I wonder what it was for, though. In I don't know. Like, I know it was for drawing of some sort. For some sort of drawing, th it's some sort of drawing thing. <clears throat> All right, <coughs> Ugh, choking on my sale. All right, we got a fabric sample book. Yeah, no sale. That's all right. I've had those things for so long. I thought maybe somebody would want them, recycle them. I, because I don't need them. They were under my bed. Um. This is all velvet in here. So we've got pictures. And these are all just fuzzies. They're not like, the fabric is fine. It's just little strings and things. There's not marks, they're fuzzies. So there's all different colors of velvet. There's some really pretty pink and stuff down at the bottom. Brains. And then black. And blue velvet. And this really pretty sea foam. It's really pretty. And then that's like a, a sagey color. And then there's green. And there's this like lime green. And then this one's a little more green. And then there's lavender. And like a magenta purple. And then there's like a purple. And then there's a pink. And a hot pink. And a red. And like a coral color -y thing. And an orange and a yellow. So, we'll start it off at a dollar. Is this the thing that was coming off before? Yeah, okay. Yeah, oh, this side. Yeah, this side was popping off. You can hide stuff in there. It'll make it easier to take it apart. Then all you gotta do is just take out that cardboard and get it all out. Get it all out! Manuel Canovas, whoever that is. Manuel Canovas. <clears throat> Country of origin, Italy. Hmm. What's it made out of? Oh, cotton? It's cotton? 
Is velvet, can velvet be made out of cotton? Hmm. I didn't know that. Karen, you got it, Miss Karen. Miss Karen got it for twelve dollar. giant piece of fabric which is really pretty and I've been hoarding this piece of fabric forever because I wanted to make something with it but um, I decided against it and I found a different piece of fabric too that I liked but, so I'm not going to undo it because it's going to be a pain in my ass because it's like super long it's like I don't know over a yard long like wide I mean and then the, the length is, well, I don't know. It's folded over one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. So it's 13 times. It's huge. The times the size that you see here. The width that you see here it's like 13 times that size it's probably like a queen size king size bed size kind of sort of um it's really pretty kind of boho -y looking um so we'll start it off at a dollar for this giant piece probably make curtains would be really pretty with this i thought about that too for my living room um curtains but i was actually gonna make a couch thing for it um like a cover for my cushions and then some pillows that went with it but I found a different fabric that I like better I just don't think that fabric might not work the way I wanted this to work but I'll make it do but anyway the only reason I didn't want this because of the purple because I only have the orange and the yellow and the green in my living room I don't have purple if it had um teal Instead of the purple, it would have been game on. But the purple doesn't match. So I was like, screw it. But otherwise, this is a really pretty piece of pretty fabric. Cover some chairs and ottomans and couches and cushions and pillows or whatever. Cover your ass. That's what you can do. Cover your ass. I still have a piece of it, a small piece, because there was this piece and there was another littler piece. I have the littler piece because I can do something else, like just make journals or do something weird with it. But other than that, well, that's it.
done. Ooh. Crystal, you got it with 15. Congrats, Miss Crystal. Next up I have, this is a Pampered Chef recipe book thing, and it's got, um, oh, these pop in and out, these little page crackers, and then it's got all the pages for your recipe cards, and then here's recipe cards, here, you got your recipe cards. And then you have some tabs to categorize your recipes, and it has some information for different things. Um, and a folder. You can use it for whatever. Use it for cooking. And then I have two rolls of wallpaper. Wallpaper border. You can use it for doing art on pieces of it because wallpaper is strong so it's good to do any you can do anything any kind of art mix media mashup just roll you out a piece and then break cut it down into ATCs if you want and then there is a very very looks brand new glue gun so, it looks like it's not even really been used maybe once or twice so, there's a glue gun. And, uh, I've got a stamp set. It's close to my heart, and it makes letters like that. And that's it, I think, right? Is that everything? I have one more bag of stuff. That's everything for this one. So we'll start it at a dollar whenever you're ready. Did you mean 11 or did you mean 1, Terry? Well, I guess you meant 11. <laughs> I get it, log cabin. So it's supposed to be like logs. I don't know. They don't really look like logs to me. I don't know what it's supposed to look like. Stop 
yelling at me. It's always yelling at me, telling me what to do. Crystal got it for 18. Congrats, Miss Crystal. for the night we have a bag of fabric Where is it? There it is. and it has some black fabric in it it's, um, it's got to cut two pieces that are like that big and then there's this one here they were cut into something because this one goes a little smaller towards the end and then and then bigger up here but it's like a heavy fabric whatever it is a heavy kind of a canvasy heavy I don't know fabric heavy fabric it's heavy man and then we've got this black and white that gray and white we've got this black and silver or gray and silver with this velvet on it and then here's the, like a plain tweed kind of pattern fabric. This one here is same like that, except it's black. Here's a gray and gray and silver, gray and blue kind of silver. I don't know. One of those. And this one has little fuzzes all over it. It's black. And this is like another tweed kind of fabric. Gray. Same with this one's kind of the same type of thing. What is this? It's polyester, but it, it's like that weird tweed. That one's like a gray and orangey. This is like a it's kind of like a navy blue black, like a blue black, blue black. And there's this one, which is like a gray with this kind of. I don't know what color that is, like a taupey color, kind of. And this is like a dark gray. And there's this, which is a piece of, it's real nice heavy fabric, whatever this is, real nice fabric. Like, it's just nice. It's a nice thick fabric. I can't fold. I give up. I give up, I say. And then we got this gray fabric and this black and gray fabric. And then there is two other things. There is this, which is like a book of fabrics. And keeping with the theme, they're all kind of gray and blacks and whites. And they're like um, a weird fabric. That's all I can say. I don't know what kind of fabric they are. They're like, what are they? Um, <laughs> uh, shade cloth. Oh, I know what they are now. I get it. You know, like <laughs> if you had an RV, you know, they had those shade things that pull down. That's what this feels like. It's like that weird, you will make cool, like, you know, sew on it and stuff and use it for artwork and crap like that. But it just feels weird. It's like cross between fabric and vinyl, but it's weird. But it comes in this little groovy book. And then lastly, there is this thing, which has um, a, a looped piece of sheer fabric on each one, three pieces here. So you can just, they literally just heat them and they come up or just rip them off or whatever. And there's a brown one, so. But yeah, you can just basically heat it a little bit and it'll 
peel right off. And then you can have double this size because it's looped over. So yeah, we'll start this off at a dollar whenever you're ready, Jamie. And that'll be the last one for the night. Oh, let me check. Oh, you did. Sorry. I didn't I didn't see that you had bid 15 prior to that. I thought you know what I mean. I got you. I'll put you down for 15. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Uh, okay. Well, do you have, before you pay, just here, if you have written down everything, it should be uh, $5, $25, 15 10 and 19 Barbara. And that's for Barbara. So adding that up, it would be oh, back up there. 74 is your total, Barbara. If anybody else needs their total, let me know. Crystal, your total besides this auction um, is 1, 2, 5, plus 4, plus 15, plus 15 equals. Yours is 159, Crystal. JD, you got it. You came in at the last second and scooped it away. You're a scooper. You scooped it. For three bucks, you scooped. All right. And if you want to be in the drawing for the um, boho thing, the belly dancing scarf, the waist scarf with the jingles on it, make sure you got your payment in before you leave. Because otherwise you can't be in the drawing. Thank you to everybody who purchased something. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to do uh, giveaways. The only thing I'm, I'm, I'm going to do the giveaway for the uh, people that shared the link in the after auction. So I'll do that after. But I'm going to do the final three or the final two giveaways here. Oh, why did I keep that out as if I was it was a book? I like literally moved it over like it was my book or something and I was like oh, I'll put my notebook over there Duh. like I don't want it that ain't for me I'm missing a paper where'd it go oh, it's right here 
right here, dingbat. Okay. All right, Terry. Um, Terry. Terry Hollis. Yours is sixteen dollars, right? Because you only got the vinyl sample book. Shipping will come later. I'll, I'll send you a thing about shipping. Miss Charnell. Yours is eleven. Um, which I'm sure, if you left already, you already probably paid that. Where did my thing go? Oh, weird. Mm. <laughs> well, hurry up, computer. Let me do the things I need to do. All right, I'll check off those who who per, blah, 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 those who those who paid me already. <laughs> Good lord. I, oh, so I said, why do I have all this extra paper? Let's see. Boogity 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 boo. Okay, that is. I get it, I get it, I get it. Okay. All right, and now the, okay. I'm gonna do that after, because when I started the auction, because Janie wasn't here, not your fault, Janie, but because she wasn't here, I had, when I was trying to work the timer at the same time as doing everything else, I forgot about and couldn't do the whole wheel thing. So I'm going to do that in the after auction too. I'm going to go through anybody that was on the Patreon and let them know what their discount is and do the wheel. So that's why I'm going to do that later because it, it was too overwhelming. And then by the time Janie got there, it was pointless to start doing it then because then everybody would have been like, hey, wait, you know, so it's like. I'm just going to do it after because it doesn't make a difference whether I do it before or after. It's all going to be the same either way. So I'm just going to go through all the people that have Patreon and do it all then. Um, I'll do it in the after stream though. <clears throat> and this way everybody will know their discount and I'll let them know when I give them their shipping what their discount was if, if they don't know or if they weren't there. Um, and what they won if I spin the wheel because there's some things on the wheel that certain tiers win. So... Anyway, where was I? Okay.
should have done it where I did it like the last time I did it. It was easier because I wrote everybody's name down. I didn't have to flip through all the papers, but I did it stupid this time. And that was not smart. Not smart, I say. Not smart. It's easier for me to do it the other way. But, you know, I never said I was a genius. Or even smart, for that matter. Do, do, do. Crystal, I have uh, part of yours. Um, I think you're, I, I'm assuming you did two, or am I just seeing things? No, that's from tonight. Oh, okay, 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 I see what you did. You paid for one thing, I got it. I'm picking up what you're putting down. <laughs> and then you came back, I guess, and did other, and bought other stuff. Um, okay. And then Mary, Mary Jane. And then, who else? Um, fresh because I'm sure there are others because I'm missing Tina, Jay and Amy and Terry whoa stupid freaking mouse You're, you had, uh, Crystal, you're, you you did the first 125, but then you have 34 remaining. And you sent 19, just letting you know. So, 50, 60, oh, you, you left off one of the $15 ones because you had the far, large piece of fabric and then the cookbook glue gun and stamps, and they were each 15. So, that's the only thing left for you is 15. And then we have Miss Karen's. are playing tricks on me. Whew. Alright. My eyes are like focusing weird. Very bizarrely. And then just uh, missing Tiffany. Which I don't... She probably went to bed. Tiffany... And Tina and Monique. And Amy. I don't have it, anything from her yet.
why is my computer being weird right now? Oh, okay, Terry paid it through there. Duh. Okay. Um, No, you got everything. That's fine, Karen. It's all good. Oh, there you are. Oh, sorry, Amy. You needed... I just sent you an email because I'm a dumbass, too. Because <laughs> I didn't think you were here. I thought maybe you had left. Um, yours is not... Uh, I sent you... <laughs> I'll look at the email I sent you because that'll show me how much it was because I put it in there. 90. Yours is 90, Amy. And then the only other person is Tina. Um, she. sucks so bad it's not really the keyboard it's my fingers today. I think I got some sort of fabric or fuzz or thread or something in my eye. Yeah, that's fine. I don't mind. Yeah, because if, you know, if you know that you, you know, would rather put the shipping together with, and you think you're going to buy something in the, in the next auction, that's fine too. I don't mind combining things. That's why with some people, when I get to a certain point in the week, and if I'm running a little bit late, and it's the it's the literally the Friday before the next auction I'm going to have anyway, by the time I got everything packed up, I usually will say something like, hey, I'm about to send your box out, but if you want to wait and to see if you buy something from the next auction, because it's, it's only two, three days away, uh, you know, might as well hold on to the box, especially if somebody lives in California or like overseas or somewhere further where it's going to cost, where it costs a little more anyway, because it's better to combine it all together than not, you know. Um, okay, then I'll have hers and... I think we'll be good. Good in the hood. Good in the hood. Crystal wondered if she won the bid on the cookbook. Didn't sound correct. Yes, you did. Um, the cookbook, the glue gun, and the stamps. You won it for 15, remember? Because you thought you, you, I saw the 18 and I said 18, and then you had put four, 15 before that, but in between that, somebody put 14. So, but you won it for 15. Um,. And so I guess I have everybody except Monique, who always forgets. <laughs> She's forgetful. And, oh, JD, did you give me yours? Which I'm not, I'm sure she did by now. Or maybe I missed it. It was only $3, so I'm not that concerned with that. Let me refresh. A refresh. And then I can put everybody's name down, which I should have done in the beginning. It would have been easier. Okay, yeah. I got that, and I got that. Oh. Um, Tiffany Wells. Okay, yeah, I got yours. Oh, yeah, I almost forgot. Okay. Okie dokie, smokey. I'm going to write everybody's down. Everybody's name.
Smoky, Smoky, Smoky. Yeah, well, you and Barbara especially. Um, Barbara always tells me to wait until I have a box full, which, you know, it makes sense. Um, and with you, too, I usually do that. I'll wait usually one auction, or I'll wait usually at least two auctions, and then I might say something to you like, hey, do you want me to wait another auction because I could fill the box further? And if you say yes, then I wait. Because for some people, if I know, you know, if you know you're going to be there anyway and you're not in that big of a rush for it, you might as well. But, I mean, I don't mind at all, you know, but if it's, you know, if if, that, if, if you want to do that, like, you know. But I like to try to stuff the box as much as possible so that you get your money's worth out of the shipping anyway because, you know, there's no point in sending a box that's half full, even though I, I try to put everything in boxes that'll fit it, you know what I mean, that fit properly. I do the best I can to make sure that it's in a box that will fit it enough where there's not a lot of room left over. But if it's some, if you buy like a fabric sample book that's long or like something weird that I have no choice but to put it in a bigger box, that's the best time to wait and you know, see if you end up buying something from the next auction, because then I could shove that in there, and then the shipping is going to be less combined together. Because I always feel bad when it's like one thing, and it's, you know, in a box that's bigger, which doesn't happen often, because I do my best to make sure that their inboxes as much as possible that aren't oversized but it happens of course because you can't you can't predict that something is going to fit properly or perfectly I mean I'm not a boxing company I have to I rely mostly on boxes that Chris gives me or that I I get from either Amazon or you know because I buy like dog food and I buy it online it gets shipped in a nice big box I anytime I find a box or Chris has these big boxes he gave me recently and you know things like that like anytime I get my hands on a box I have I bought I buy boxes as well I usually will buy boxes I haven't bought boxes well I just ran out of the boxes that I bought plus I use a lot of the post office boxes because they'll get they have boxes you can get for free I mean and I'm shipping everything priority anyway unless I'm shipping it media mail then I can't use their boxes but I try to do my best to make the shipping as I, I pretty much know my ins and outs with the shipping really well. So I'm, I'm good at finagling it and packing it a certain way or making sure that I'm getting the most for the shipping or you know what I mean? That's why it takes me so incredibly long to ship everything or to get everything packed up and ready to go because sometimes it takes me three boxes to try to figure out one that'll fit. And then if, you know, if I don't, you know, and then I have to calculate the shipping every time I put it in a different box and measure the box and weigh the box and all that. And I, I have a tendency to, you know, do... I won't do anything tomorrow other than send out a few things that I have to send out. But tomorrow I usually don't do anything with that. And then I don't usually do anything on Tuesdays either because I'm still working on other things that I've got going on. But then I'll start like dealing with it on Wednesday a little bit and getting everything situated and start. What I do is I start putting things where they need to go and I kind of organize it. I do a little bit each day and then by the time I get to... Uh, the Monday of the following week, that's when I'm doing like from for the rest of this week, I do like little things. And then on Monday, the following Monday is when I sit down and I start doing every night I'll go through and do like, and I can't do it Wednesday because Wednesday is mixing me a mashup and I can't do it Friday. So usually it's Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday are the three days that I'm like hauling ass packing stuff. And usually by Thursday, everybody will have their thing unless there's a snafu in something or there's something I'm waiting for like when I'm doing graphics I have to keep you know doing the printer keep doing the graphics 
So I kind of have it scheduled out where it's not wearing me out for like a day or two. I'm usually spreading it out so that I don't kill myself and I can do other things that I need to do. Like tomorrow we've got the class, so I can't do anything tomorrow anyway because I've got class tomorrow. And then, of course, I'll do, I have other things to do on Tuesday and then Wednesdays mix me a mashup. And then Thursday I'll, you know, do other things. And then Friday I'll do some stuff, but then we have our live stream Friday night. And then Saturday I'll do stuff. Like, so it's like I have to just, because if I have a live stream that day, I don't get anything else done because I'm usually cleaning up my desk, getting everything cleaned up, straightening up things because there's usually a mess everywhere and I want to get that straightened out. So I'm usually spending time doing that. But it's definitely a, a process because it's just a lot. Other people are a little better at it, I guess, when they do their auctions. I don't know. But for me, it takes time. Plus, not just that. It's not just, the, okay, the box situation, make sure everything's packed all right. Um, it's also... Uh, it's also... Um, if anybody has giveaway stuff or mixed media mashups that they need, prizes, Patreon stuff, I usually go around and try to get all that. With every box, I'm like, okay, this person needs this, this, and this. And I try to go and get as much of that as I can. So I'm like wandering around from this end of the house. Every time I have a box to pack, half the time I have like other things I have to go get, put together. So that, and it, each box can take me like two hours to put together. And Chris is over here sometimes and he's like, he's like, he'll come in, he'll come over and then he'll be here for a few hours and he'll be like, how many boxes did you get done? I'll be like three. And he's like, three boxes in that, you were in there for that long doing three. I'm like, yep. Three boxes in like four hours, five hours. He's like, Jesus. I'm like, well, it's he, because he, he knows I'm in and out. I go in and out, in and out of each room because I come in here to get things to put in the box. If it's like, oh, they need their mixed media mashup. They need this. They need their Patreon thing. They need this. I'm going to throw it in with this or whatever it is. Or, oh, they're supposed to get extra stuff. So I got to go in here and I got to get stuff. So it's like this weird, it always takes so long. And I feel like all, I feel like I just, it's like endless. I don't know why. And I don't, I'm not a slow worker either. I haul ass. Like I, you know, I get a lot done in a short period of time. It's just, it over, it can be, uh, it, it can be a lot to do. So, I always have something to do. I don't, Barbara calls me pretty often, and I don't think she's ever called me once where I wasn't doing something. She's always like, what are you doing? Are, were you sleeping? Or, you know, I'm like, hell no, I'm up doing this, that, and the other. And then when I'm on the, if I'm on the phone with her, I'm always clanging, banging, doing something. <laughs> I, every every third day I stay up for a 24 hour cycle doing something <laughs> and then I have to also prepare for the next auction which means putting together kits or putting together this or putting together that it's crazy I, I swear I feel like I work four jobs I need a cup oh but I also have to do the final giveaway for that other thing alright so for we'll do this in a second but the other uh giveaway for just being here yeah she outbid herself and then it she didn't need to and i just didn't catch that so yeah it was 15 okay the final giveaway today um i'm just gonna do a bundle of stuff that i have over here This is for everybody. What's that? What is that? I can't see. Okay. Alright. This is 
pile of stuff. So there's a bag of shells. There's some green fabric. Some nice cool green fabric. There is these fabric sample here, fabric samples here. There's a white one and a yellow one. And a cream colored one and a green one. Stop slipping out of my hand. And a gray one and like a yellow ochre. And this teal kind of color. So there's those. And there's some of this lace. It's peach and pink and white. And then there is some of these scraps. It's a banner made out of library cards. It's like a little banner thing. You can take it and use it or do something with the scraps and the ribbon, but it's a cute little like banner thing. It doesn't have anything on the other side, but you can like put letters on it or something. There's this cute little book. Um, you can't really see it, see it because of the stupid sticker on that stupid thing, which is unnecessary. It says free spirit. It's really boho -y and pretty. And it says free spirit on each page. Some MTV buttons and some tissue paper to play with and a happy Halloween even though it's not really Halloween anymore so what <laughs> you can have it for next year so all those and that's for the regular uh, thingy for anybody for anybody anybody I keep dropping my blood Janie! Janie! Oh my god, Stacey, no. Why not? You're allowed to win it again. You want me to pick somebody else? I will. Just let me know. You're allowed to win this one. Jenny. Hello? You want me to pick somebody else then? Is there anything out of here you want? I know, right? Mine do. not answering me all right I'll pick somebody else then winner win a chicken dinner JD JD wins JD won, JD won, and I need a bag. Hmm. 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 Oh, wait, here we go. Here we go, here we go. I got the bag, I got the bag. Here we go, here we go. Wait, what? I don't know whether she's behind or what. I already gave it to somebody else. She said to give it to somebody else. I gave it to somebody else. And then she didn't answer it. Ow. But if there's something you want out of here, I can get I can get another one similar to it, Janie, if there's something you want. I got other stuff. That's okay. Alright, Miss JD. Is she here, Miss JD, or did she just leave? Oh, she's here. Okay. All right, Miss JD, and then we will do the purchasers, the pur purchasers giveaway. Let me put these over here so I don't lose them. 
get off there. Purchasers. rubbing who's thinking about rubbing don't get Janie too excited now don't get her too excited and we're gonna be this is what's up for grabs in this giveaway. I figured this would be a nice giveaway for those. I mean, if you really don't want this, let me know if you win it. You could tell me I'd rather have something else, whatever, that's fine. But usually everybody likes the boho -y stuff, so. But, you know. You're gonna be up pacing all night. It's because she was talking and picking up stuff and JD care. She was talking and picking up the stuff. And... What do you mean? Oh, because it was behind. She's behind somebody and rubbing. <laughs> all right. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle all the way. Yes, I'm shaking the cup. You're good now. Oh, I got it in my hand. It just this one just magically popped into my hand too. Charnel, Miss Charnel. I was trying to read it and I'm sitting here looking at her name going, who the hell is this again? <laughs> Who's Charnel? And I'm looking at it and I'm going, well, who is Chamel? And brain just went blank. Sh I'm going, Chamel, Chamel. I forgot the R or either that or the R and the N are next to each other made an M and it made me think Chamel. It's Charnel. Miss Charnel, we. Charnel, you wins. Are you married, Charnel? I, I swear I was looking at your name going, who is that? <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah, duh. Oh, you're divorced? Oh, there you go. Well, wear this and go out and seduce you and a good man. Whoa. I'll write that with your order so that I can put it with it. Where is it? Where is it? There it is. So I'm going to put a big piece of paper. Uh, is it in sights? Sights. Oh, let me get rid of this. Any relation to Wanda Sykes? I love her. She's freaking hilarious. Every time she's on Ellen, she cracks me up. 
don't know if she's on anything. All right. Uh. The sheriffs make you want to break laws. <laughs> what sheriffs in your town? That's what I was thinking, Karen, when I was saying Shamel, Sherna, uh, Shamel, Shamel, and I was going, <laughs> Shamel, Shamazel, House and Pepper Incorporated. <laughs> oh. I'm awfully white to be related. <laughs> That's funny. All right. We are all set. I will be coming back on to do the, um, to do some crafting, of course, but also to do the, uh, to take care of the other giveaway, which I have to go get all the names right now after I clean up. So give me about a half hour, 45 minutes. So I can take care of the D-O-G-S. Well, they don't know the word dogs because I never call them dogs. I call them humans, my children. <laughs> well, there you go. Wear that around your waist. Wear it around. Like if you, you work at a restaurant is what you're saying? if you work at a restaurant and if you have to wear like some sort of little apron or something I don't know what kind of restaurant you work at you can always wrap it around the back side of you so that when you walk every time you shimmy your butt they're gonna look at you <laughs> but I'll be back on in about 45 minutes uh, if I don't see you have a good night thanks for coming I'll see you in two weeks for the auction I'll have in two weeks two weeks two weeks two weeks that'll be the uh, 17th so yeah, the 17th will be the next auction I have. And then uh, Care Hearts will be on the 30th. So the 17th and then the 30th. Have a good night, everybody. I will see you in about 45 minutes for those who will be around. Poodle Pack, out. Pink Poodle Crafts, join the Poodle Pack. It's time to get creative and make you laugh. Make your own art today. Pink Poodle Crafts is the way. What a good boy.